T. McCluskey presents Arcade Talk Live Stream. to Saturday edition of Arcade Talk. Hope you're all having a great weekend. Hope you had some fun on your pinball machines or consoles this weekend. Hopefully everybody's having a great weekend. Let's get uh, Papa Rad on here to get this thing rolling tonight. I'm trying to keep it short on here tonight. Let's roll Papa Brad in. Well, Papa Brad's a gay man. He's got passion in his soul. From pinball tables to Atari. He's always in control. He's a master of retro and the old school styles of thing. With every flick of the joystick, you can hear the twang ting. Stay legit, pop a bread, keep the high school living. From the classic arcades to the Atkins pinball board. With the Atari 2600, your love for games will never quit. Stay true yourself, Papa Brad, and always stay legit. He's a lover of the classics, the sound of pixelated beats. Late nights at the arcade with every game defeat. But he'll keep on pushing. Till he's reached that final stage Papa Brad's the game and legend His passion never fades Baby legit Papa Brad Keep the high school open From the classic arcades To the at games pinball board With the SRE 2600 your love for games will never quit. Stay true to yourself, Papa Brad. And always stay legit. He's a love. All right. Welcome, Papa Brad. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. All right. Stay legit, T. McCloskey. Stay legit, too. You too always legit keep it legit. Quit. That's what I love about Arcade Talk. So what's going on, man? Not much, man. How's going on? How's your weekend? Uh, I don't know. I haven't left the thing pinball for like five minutes. I've been playing that game nonstop. That's such an amazing game. Loving it. It's so hard though, but it's, it's so, uh, it's, it's great. Nice. Oh. There it is. There it is. Biggie Fry said that too legit to quit. Yeah. I, I didn't get on, uh, uh, today on the thing. Played a little bit last night. Last night I played. Yeah, a little I saw bit. you put in a score. Pretty good score. Good score. Like you said, it is hard, man. 
Oh, it's challenging. Yeah, yeah, it's challenging. This is a good one though. This is this is a, this is the one that uh, takes a while to get good at. I like it. Yeah, I didn't get at good at it. I, th- I got. I think I got like maybe five or six games in. Uh, I think once again that score I have on there, man. I think it was like my first or second second one on there. Yeah. yeah. Once I can go back to be the first first time on there, seems like that's the best I do is the first time I ever play it. All these. I know. Just like the last one we did, man. I think my second game was my best one. Mm-hmm. But I didn't get to play that one a whole lot. I want to get on this one more, man. I want to get on this one more. Well, anyway, I checked. I checked my movie collection. Team McCloskey. Team McCloskey. I have the uh, the remake of the thing. The remake. Nice, nice. The remake. I need to watch that. If I get some time during the week, I'll watch it. I love the original the most, though, but there was a remake. This is a remake. So it is a remake. It's not like a part two. No, I, I don't know. I, haven't, I, I, I saw it a long time ago, and I, I must have liked it because I bought the Blu-ray, and then I never watched yeah. it. So uh, there you go. So there's a remake. So who's there's in that a, one? Remake. Um, Kurt Russell in there? Probably not. No. Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Okay. All right. Interesting. I'll have to give it a watch later. Well, anyway, the thing. Always good. Yep, yeah, it's always good. It's always good. We're giving away, uh, I don't know if anybody's interested in it, but we're giving away a, a figure from the thing. I don't know if oh, you saw really? that on our thumb, thumbnail. Um, wow, that is Chris, cool. Courtesy of Gregory. Gregory's awesome. uh, giving away the thing action figure. Oh, cool. I didn't even know they had action figures for the thing. That's pretty cool. It's it, it's actually Kurt Russell. Is he holding the flamethrower? Uh, he's got a bunch of gadgets, man. He's got a bunch of gadgets? I don't see the flamethrower. the thing? Let me, uh, let me bring it up on screen since we're talking about it. We'll do the actual uh, giveaway a little bit here. But yeah, there's that's what it comes with there. Oh, man. That's got a couple Kurt cases. Russell. He's got the hat and the glasses. He's got the cowboy hat and the glasses. I guess his head pops off. <laughs> well, I don't think so, him. unless he's going to be killing severed heads. Yeah, right here. You got one right here, one right here. Yeah. You got angry face. See the angry yeah, face? The angry face Kurt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I guess I guess we got Kurt with the off. long hair. He's got the lantern there. He's <coughs> got the drink. It's not the like. Got the shotgun. Shotgun. Yeah, got the drink. Is that cigarettes right here? Zoom in, Pop Brad. Zoom, <laughs> zoom. Hey, man. Oh, it's a glass. It's actually a glass to pour your, your whiskey that's his, in. That's a, that's a glass of whiskey. He's yeah. drinking some whiskey. There it is, man. That's cool. He's having so himself a drink, a shotgun. Yeah, we got the shotgun, we got gloves. He's got hands without gloves, so he can pop off his hands. He's like a $6 million man. He can pop off his hands. Yeah, he's got the hands that pop off. I remember the G.I. Joe's the original, like the 12-inch ones, their hands used to pop off like that. Yeah. That's crazy. So, yeah, we're giving that it away. very detailed. Look at that hat, too. Oh, I know. Let's see, there's a couple other pictures. Oh, yeah, so it shows it with uh, one of the different heads here. Okay. So that's what it looks like in, in a package. That's pretty, neat. that's pretty detailed. Yeah, look Very at even detailed. the wrinkles. Look at the wrinkles like in his jacket and stuff. It really makes it look like leather. There it is. I think this is like seven inches tall. That's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Looks like him. Looks like uh, Kurt Russell, doesn't it? Does look like him. So yeah, we'll be giving that away tonight, courtesy oh, of uh, Gregory. Awesome. Thank you. He Gregory. said, "Hey, we should." He goes, "I have this. Uh, since you're doing the thing pinball tournament, won't we uh, give give it away?" There you go. So I'm like, awesome. Yeah, we can do that. Uh-huh. <clears throat> do that in a little bit here. A little heads up. Maybe not. Like that's in pretty. 40. That's pretty. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. All you have to do is be here, and you could possibly win this awesome. Uh, Yep. Kurt Russell action figure. The angry face? You know what the angry face, Pop Brad? Look at the angry face. Ah, He's got an angry he's face angry. and a hoodie on. He's angry with a hoodie ah, on. Yep. He's, he's like, shocked. Ah. That's a shocked look. Ah. And now nah, I'm angry. <laughs> That's funny. But yeah, he even shows you with the the surprised face on, on the, the body surprised there. Surprised face, yeah. Look! Look at his hand. His hell no. He's like, "Where's my, uh, where's my glass? A whiskey." I know. It's Snake Plissken. Snake Plissken before he lost his eye. Oh no! Hate to lose your eye, man. 
Dude, how cool would it be to have him in your arcade wearing that crazy cowboy hat, drinking? Oh, look, he has a bottle. He has a little bottled. You can have you can have Kurt Russell in your arcade drinking a drink. Look at that. Yeah, he's got the true. bottle of whiskey and the glass. Put him up there. Uh, yeah, I would be I'd be posing him with the whiskey and the glass. Yeah, yeah. That would be pretty awesome. That'd be pretty awesome would, just to have man. sitting in your arcade, Kurt Russell <laughs> chilling, yeah. having some having some liquor. Yep. If you had one, you could have him on a stream right next to you, man. Put him on like a little box. He's yeah. sitting there with a drink, <laughs> on the drink. What's up, Doc oh. Mario? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Doc Mario? Who got in this? Um, who got in the chat tonight, Pop Red? Who got in the chat? Oh, we got quite a few here. Let me see who's here. Let's see. And uh, let's see. Like 35 in here? I got to roll back. I got to roll back, Team Classic. Oh. We got Dan Z was first. He said first here. First here. We got Jason, who's not a fan of country western music. Uh, we yeah, got was... Biggie Fries. We got Marine 50. We got Mad Dog. Welcome to the show. We got Carl O. Little party people. Arcade Talk and Star Wars Reviews. We got Ooh, Video Game it. in Vegas. <laughs> good to see him. He's got a good channel. Check out his channel on YouTube and subscribe. Yeah. Uh, we've got Incognito. We got Goofy Foot. We've got um, Ritual Dello. Good to see you. Ray De La Torre. Hey, hey, hey. We've got high scores on tap. Hello, gamers. He's got a good score on there. Me, me, me and high scores are, are, are uh, competing. I was right by high scores on the scoreboard. Uh, so he's, he's in there competing. Good to see high scores on tap. He also released a really awesome video about Centipede on his channel. Check that out. Great video. Very good. Um, good Danny Johnston. Mm -hmm. Got Wyo. Good to see you, Wyo. Welcome, welcome. And if you're not chatting, we're still glad you're here. We got Common Sense 200. Good to see you. Right below him is uh, Mike Hawk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got Mike. We got Doc Mario. We got Retro Arcade Trooper. What up, everybody? And uh, if I missed you, I apologize. I think we got I'll Try not to skip anyone. Um, uh, yeah, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not chatting in the chat and you're just watching, we appreciate you Welcome. being here as well. Welcome to the show. So show. what do we got going on, Team McCloskey? Uh, well, we got the going to get the action figure wave. The thing. Hey, what's up, high scores? Thanks for the Woo five gifts, five membership gifts. Right. Thank you, high scores. Awesome man. <laughs> Vader got one. Vader. <laughs> King Ed got one. Woo! King Ed AV has become a member. Congratulations. Nice. David M got Ed one. Has become a member. See my Rick Hose got one. Rick Hose became a member. Congratulations. Shane Dixon got one. Thanks. Welcome, uh, members, new members. Welcome, welcome. Courtesy of High Scores on Tap. So thank you so much, High Scores on Tap, for that. Thank you. Great channel. Memberships. So we're going to give the. Kurt Russell and from the thing. someone that's competing Wayne. in the tournament too. He's competing in the tournament right alongside with us. Great guy. Yeah, great guy. Even though he got yelled at by his own guys. Maybe one day we could have him come back on the show. I liked when he visited the show a few times. That was fun. Yeah, it was. Yeah, we'll invites on, there huh? if you ever want to come on. High scores. Let's see. Oh, so tonight we're gonna go over, of course, our tournament. We'll do like a little pop in of our tournament, mm -hmm. see how things are going, yeah, see, see how it's shaping up. Uh, we'll do at games tournaments. They're going to be coming up, I guess, starting later this month, right? Later mm -hmm. this month. And there, there's That's some, exciting, uh, yeah. There's some Easter eggs in there. So we can go over in case some people missed them. Oh, I did find my picture, Papa Brad. Remember the other night we were talking about? I know we're, we don't really want to talk about um, uh, 4K AL, ALU, but uh -huh. I presented this presentation before. These are my three designs I think they should do. Mm -hmm. Right off the bat, these are the three designs I think they should do right there. Boom, you got three mm -hmm. designs right there, Pop, right? You got three choices. Three choices. Three choices. I, did, I found that. I was going through because I was trying to delete some stuff off my hard drive. I'm like, ah, I found this picture. Yeah. I wanted to yeah. find well, those, are, those are what the Midway cabinets look like. Those are those are the correct cabinets on the left and the right. See, and they, you got people. There's no who, purple on them, if you notice. There's none. Well, there could be 
Someone it's blue. Up there. It's blue. Up on there? You it's had the blue. R on I, here. I physically touched him. You had the R on here, so this is this is at the you know where I made sure these were stretching it, Team Mikowski. I made sure these were the rare ones. I actually had to wear logos mm -hmm. on them. They both do, but mm -hmm. this is the way I think that game should bring it out. Boom! For, you got three choices. Bam! Right there. Yeah, you know? yeah. I would love to review this if you know if they could send us a, a review copy or review version that we could do a review on, like they did to other YouTubers. That'd be awesome. Like Evil Genius, he got a review pinball. One of us should get a review version of this so we can uh, tell people what we think of it. What do you think about that? Yeah, that'd be awesome. I mean, because cool. people are going to want to know what we cool. think about it for sure. Yeah. And Video Vegas is uh, Battle Toads. They can do that as well. So you can give us four choices if they wanted to. But we know definitely for sure they have these two licenses because, you know. Because of the cabinet they have, so we'll yeah, have them yeah. and it wouldn't matter to me if, if you got it or I got it, Team McCloskey. I wouldn't even care. Just if one well, of us had either. it, it would be good. It'd, It'd be cool matter. to see one of us. Yeah. yeah, one of us physically had it. Yeah, because we're excited for it. I am excited about it. I think it. I, I'm excited for the the tech. You know. There you go, I Caro. See, I want to see what it can do. Yeah, Caro put the uh, high scores on taps link to his homepage. Mm -hmm. so there you go. Thanks, Caro. Yeah, go drop high scores and tap a sub. Doesn't cost you anything. Channel. Doesn't cost you anything. He's got some great videos too. If you want to learn about like arcade games and classic, uh, some game history for arcade, he's got some really great uh, videos which are fun to watch. Yep. Yeah, he always makes them interesting. entertaining, entertaining and educational. Yeah, both. Yeah, both. I, I enjoy his yep. content. He, the way he edits things, I like the way he edits. He uses cartoons. It's it's entertaining the when you watch yeah. it. Very good yeah. content. Die four is here. He's clean like a mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That four, welcome in. That's right, the king of the modders. Yeah, I'd love to have that Ghostbusters. He did uh, that pinball. Man, I'm telling you, he does beautiful work. Yeah, beautiful work. Nobody does custom stuff like he does. <laughs> he did that Knight Rider uh, cabinet. That was <laughs> awesome next, too. Next level, man. It's next level. That yeah, is next level. Freaking awesome. Uh, Dr. Mario says, not feeling it. I like a different IP. I think we'll get a different one. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not a I fan agree. of the art. I'm not a fan of the art. But they still got a long road to release. Yeah, because I they... haven't heard any wavering on, the, on like, the art. And uh, no. it, it pulled super low. I pulled it, like, three or four times. And every time I pulled it, it got very low uh, scores on people liking it. Yeah. So. Everybody's going like to the, everybody's gonna like the bit LCD uh, marquee. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the tech is great though. I mean, oh, yeah, and like, yeah, tech's great. Control this panel been... looks nice. You know, the control panel looks good. You know, the 4K monitor. Uh, you know, it'd be cool to see how what you can do with that. How can you integrate that? You know, what what can you do with that in your arcade? You know, I wouldn't yep. mind having a 4K screen in the middle of my arcade. You know, it'd be pretty awesome to have. Oh yeah. But what are they, what are they going to do with that 4K screen? What are they going to do? Are they going to bring some games to it? I guess there's some games in the store that are 4K. You need some modern games on there, right? You need some modern games. You know, to use to use that 4K technology. You got some. You need some. Use that 4K technology. Yeah. I mean, you can you can OTG games to it, but you know you can OTG games to your big ass TV too, and it's a lot bigger than the screen on this arcade will be. Meatball spicy. The art is a hundred times better than my ALU. Yeah. I agree. I like the single artwork. I like the, I like the direction they're going with the single artwork. The single sure. artwork is the right direction. Yeah, yeah. And they've already said the coin door. They know it's like ridiculously small. I mean, yeah, it's just one. Like, look look, look at the proportionate size on a real Killer Instinct cab to the left or right, and you can and see look, how far off it is. It's like what a fourth of the size of which, what it should be. Well, you guys can't really read that, but I can. Based on read the it. real estate, yeah. Guess what that coin door says. Killer Instinct, Adam's family. Does it say Adam's family? Yeah, it's too blurry. You can't. I could make it out mm. though. Yeah, you can see it says Adam's. You can, and mm. then it looks like it says family. Okay. So they, they told you they cut, cut somebody cut. Yeah, and pasted they that. cut and pasted it. Off the Adam's family. So stupid. You should have just left it off there. Or copied it from somewhere else. Copy and paste it off like the Killer mm. Instinct right here. Yeah. Cut, cut and paste that one and pop it on mm. there. Cut and paste that one. Yeah, that would be a better look. Yeah, same goofy. I, I knew that was a uh, cut and paste off the Anne's family, and that proves it. 
And if they're, in my opinion, if they're going to make it that small, it'd be better not to have it. You know what I mean? Because I mean, right. it's not, it's not a, it's not a coin op arcade. You know. Cool this thing about it doesn't bring back any nostalgia to me. Nah. With the with the graphics and stuff, it doesn't bring back any nostalgia. And having a coin door on something that wasn't originally an arcade, it's just I don't know. Yeah, they'll have it right. They'll, I would guarantee it'll be a size like the, yeah, they'll, they'll the proportionally thing. fit it or make or. Mm. Cool thing about these coin doors is, you make it one time, you put them on all of the machines, just mm. like the coin door for um, the Adams family. Mm. You know, Attack from Mars, Star Trek, they all have the same one. You know, it's yeah. just you make it. You just make different, one different know. plates or whatever on them, but yeah, yeah. You just slap the plates on the same coin door. Easy. So mm-hmm. you just make it once, and then you're done. Yeah, I thought mm-hmm. it said Killer Instinct, not Adam's family. Zoom in there. Zoom in there. Zoom in there. But you see, you can't read that, man. It says Killer Instinct. That's the K. I can see it. Is it all right? I think so. I don't know what it says up at the top. Does it say Legends? Um, you can't read it. It's too blurry. I can't read it, but. It anyway. might say the ALU, but we know we know it's the pinball one anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. But yeah, th- th- those are my three designs. They, uh, I think they should come out with right yeah. away. As soon as, the, as soon as the orders start, remember, it ain't going to be pre-orders. They're just going to be orders. So yeah, I think these are the th- first three they should pop in. And if they had the rights to do Battletoads, you know, throw a fourth one in there and be Battletoads. But the license, man, you just never know. But we know definitely they have the license to, you know, do the artwork for one and two because mm-hmm. basically that's on this purple one in the middle yeah yeah so we know battle toes might not have the license to do the artwork who knows just like the yeah. adams family you know we couldn't get a new um a new boot theme. up screen because of license so yeah when it comes we to license a boot yeah. up screen i think they were talking about making themes yeah but we have yeah. a boot up screen for the um yeah, well, yeah i think we've had doing one like... since it launched the, yeah they were talking about doing themed Mm-hmm. boot up screens and menus and that but it got nicked because of the license yeah so who knows you just never know what damn license yeah and I, I think you know i think a lot of people i'm I, you know i want to see i want to see what what can i do with the 4k arcade you know show yeah. me some some ways to use it you know yeah, and not just retro games because you know 4k you know the 4k screen they, they got, what's it gonna do for old retro games you know you want to see it on well, some new games. They have a good screen on the original ALU, but you're right. This is this is going to be a higher end product. So like, show us like, show us higher what, end what, games. What, what can you do with it? Yeah, yeah. Well, some higher or, end games, right? Higher end games, or even even if you know you're bringing your own games, like sh- prove it. Like show us some higher end games running on it. Like, is the chipset powerful enough? Can you run some higher end stuff? You know, can we do Dreamcast? Can we do Naomi? Uh, you yeah. know, can we do other things? You know, what can it do? <laughs> what can it do? You know, yeah, hopefully they come up with some things before it releases. What's the interface look like? Stuff, I mean, they showed the interface, there is a video of the interface, but like, I don't know. But they still got a long wow. runway, so we got a lot of time for them to flesh that yeah. out. You know, they're saying what quarter four this year, I think that could get mm-hmm. pushed back to first quarter of next year, too. Yeah, Depends on if they got any delays or anything. <clears throat> it's all subject to change, Papa Brad. Remember, always subject to change. Well, I love multicades. I got three of them behind me, Team McCloskey. I got an I arcade multicade. I got a main multicade, and I've got my uh, ALU, which I have two of them. So I am kind of a super at games fan. I already have two ALUs. You gonna get rid of one if you get the 4K? Yeah, yeah, I'll get rid of one. Yeah, well, it's been about bring your own. Give you the hardware and the options. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you do you expand? You would expand your um, customer base though if you add some games just in the cabin itself. Because some people don't want to mess with that. I'm telling you, yeah. there's a lot of people out there just want to plug it in and play. I tell you what, if I got that 4KP, I might have to roll that I arcade out of here. Uh oh. It would look good because it'd be tall like the other ones. Yeah, you know? you see how they're all be... tall. Like my I arcade looks kind of small. I mean, it plays a lot of games, but it's kind of small compared to the other ones. It's kind of like, like my Pac-Man back there. Man. I'd roll that. Pac-Man. I'd roll that I arcade uh, to a different spot. My Pac-Man um, is smaller. It doesn't look as small in being over here. Look than at the that afterburner uh, marquee going off. How cool is that on the on the Pixelcade? I know it's awesome. awesome, man. 
I like at game stuff, so I'm excited yeah. to see what it can do. Like that's what I really want to see. I want to see like a tech demo. Like like what can I do with it? You know what 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 are its capabilities? Because that's what everyone asks me. It's like, well, why do I need a 4K arcade? And I'm like, well, I know you can play 4K games. They're like, like what arcade games are 4K? <laughs> like, none of them. <laughs> none of them. Yeah, no. None of the ones like you know. I'm a huge Golden Age arcade guy. I love I love classic arcades from the 80s, and they were very low res games. Um, that being said, At Games has always had one of the best monitors in a multicade. The, the the monitor on the iArcade, um, I mean on the I'm sorry, At Games. At Games always had one of the best monitors, and the yep. black levels are really good. Like when you play something like Robotron, where the whole background is black, looks great on the ALU. They got a really good monitor, so their monitor tech has been pretty good. Yeah, and I have to say the pinball is really good. I love my monitor that's inside of the uh, 4K. Yeah, me too. I'm happy with it. The only thing, the only thing that, that that's hard about it is that the glass you get a lot of reflections, you know. But that's just because you're pointing a screen. There's a, there's a screen yeah. under glass, you know. I don't know what you can do about that. So there's a game. See, uh, Meatball Saucy says the new Contra plays in 4K. So see, would that be able to um, play on a 4K ALU? You know, that's true. I mean, that new Contra just came out right a couple months yeah. ago. I believe. Yeah, so see, that's 4K, so, you know, we'll be able to play that game. I would think it would, but yeah, we'll see, you know, it's like, because it, it, it is totally different having a 4K, you know, pinball is one thing, uh, but the AOU being 4K is like, you know, what, what can it do? What can yeah. it play? Can they secure In some 4K. modern retro, can they secure some modern retro games that would be unique to have on it that can run natively? Yeah, yeah, like this Contra would be cool if they could get, you know, this Contra that's in 4K, the new one on there. That would be great. Come stocked on it. That's the other thing. We don't know anything about the license they got. Yeah, I like this oh, this company, Pixel Games. They did a Donut Dodo. I'm playing this uh, Cash Cow game right now. That's a lot of fun. So there's there's definitely stuff out there that yeah. like, that's kind of retro but modern that mm -hmm. needs a home. I mean, IRK was kind of like a short home for it, but... There's definitely a lot of developers making retro modern stuff that need a, a good, that could use an arcade format to be able to have their games playable. Yeah, that is true. I mean, a lot of them you can play on like Steam and that, but it'd be cool mm -hmm. to get, get on like a arcade cabinet. Like once you play Saturn Deluxe on a, on a cabinet though, like that, it's a whole different experience, you know? Like that game should be in an arcade cabinet. It's kind of how it's made. Like Jason said, I don't think they'll be getting Konami games. They need to get the indie games. Yeah, I think so too. Give me retro yep. modern games, you know? Yep. It'd be awesome to get the Indian games in there. Carl says, if, if we can bring the games like Konops X, the bit LCD becomes useless. If, I don't know, if we can't, I'm not sure. He must have meant can't. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Can't. Yeah, he wrote. Then he wrote can't underneath it. Oh, yeah, there, there it is. is. He's self corrected. Self correct. Self correct there. Self correct. Yeah. Hey, yeah, we no, can't no bring. A, no one is a worse typist next. than Papa Brad. I have I have all thumbs. I'm the worst typist there is. So. Yeah, I'm just. I, I try to type too fast, man. I, think I have five call. thumbs. I just. Uh, yeah, I got sausage fingers. I can't type at all. I'm terrible. I'm always hitting the wrong keys. McCox says, when nephews visit, the first thing they ask to play is the high arcade. So many options, and I still haven't modded it. Yeah. It's just you still have a bunch more of more, too. I mean, yeah. everybody likes options. More options you have, more people like it. How is that angel doing over there, Carl? O? How is the angel doing after surgery? My sassy man is finally just about healed up. Took the donut off of her neck. See what I got behind me, Team McCloskey. Did you multicade? Got Mr. Do on there. Check it out. Ah, you got Mr. Oh, yeah, I Look see how it. big my screen is on the multicade for, for doing a... What's that? Is that 27-inch? Yeah, I don't know. It's a huge screen, though. For um, I've, I've never really shown it a lot, but I love it for this kind of game. It's set up for the vertical games. Yeah, that's but it's, it's bigger. It's bigger than any of the other arcades with a vertical screen. Laying flat like it should. Looks good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this is actually yeah, this is a Galaga cabinet. Yeah, I'm saying it's that. Exact re exact reproduction. It's all new wood, but it's 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 exact specs. Like you could take all the parts out of a Galaga and put them in this. It's really designed for people that are redoing cabinets, you know. Yeah. So. Look who's playing on mine back there. My Mr. Dude's playing Mr. Dude. Mr. Dude, we got we got dueling Mr. Dude's tonight. Double do. Double, Double do here on uh, Arcade Talk. <laughs> Double Dude, D. I love Mr. Dude. It's such a good game. Yeah, I've been playing that since uh, I was in eighth grade. Been playing a long time, man. I'm thinking back in two. It's like when I was in eighth grade, it was right around '82. So that thing was probably fairly new in that bar we used to play it. Play it on. Play it at. Coro <clears throat> says, "I went my gaming PC. Time to put pin up popper." on it good luck caro good luck yeah that stuff's yeah, cool yeah. but it's a lot of hands-on work to get to make it work yeah it's a lot of work i mean that's very cool but once you get it working it's probably pretty awesome yeah Meatball Saucy asks, Brad, did you enjoy WrestleMania weekend? Was it WrestleMania this weekend? I'm not sure. Apparently. Not, sure. not a huge wrestling fan. How about you, Team McCloskey? No, once I found out it was fake, man, I was done. Yeah. Back in the 80s, they were forced. Yeah. Say, it is not real. Pup packs, TM. That's Wait a minute. Sense. Wrestling's not real, Team McCloskey? I thought it was real. Yeah. You knew it wasn't real, man. I thought it was real. They tell you all the time it's not real. <laughs> but the action is. But who who wins is already de predetermined. Predetermined, yeah. Well, they're still athletes. What they do is still, is oh, still yeah. very, yeah, it's very, physical. Yeah. very, very physical. I mean, they're definitely athletes. And it's a miracle they don't hurt each other really bad doing the, doing the, well, what they I, do. I think they do sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they do on accident. Didn't somebody uh, fall off the, um, like the mm -hmm. scaffolding and died? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just like the NFL is fake too, but they don't want to tell you that one. Too much. When when gambling comes in into play, man, it just it like ruins everything. And everything becomes fake. It's all about the money. It's entertainment. That's right. It's entertainment. Yeah, that's what NFL uh, says too. Do you know mm -hmm. the NFL is not a um, American video company game? Anymore? Vegas knows it was Owen Hart who fell and died. There you go. Video yeah. game Vegas coming in with some facts. Yeah, I knew. That's why football doesn't call itself a football league anymore. It becomes self entertainment as well. Hmm. If you watch some of the stuff, it actually says entertainment now. So just let you know, it's just like WWF, WWE. It's all entertainment. The bad thing is, man, how many people have lost mm -hmm. all their money gambling? Man, lost their house, lost their, you know, family, and all from gambling and. That's what kind of makes me mad at NFL won't tell people that's fake because some people probably want to gamble. How many lives have been ruined from gambling? You know, it kind of sucks. Some people just gamble themselves. I hate losing money, man, so I can't gamble. Yeah, I don't gamble. I don't have money. Even if I lose ten bucks, man, I'm mad. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't like to risk my money. Me either. But a lot of people do. It's fun. I mean, if they enjoy yeah. it, if you have the money to spare. The house usually wins, though. You know, the odds are in their favor, Team McCloskey. They don't build those giant casinos off of losing. I know. I mean, when you look at it, like when you go there, I mean, it's, I mean, it's, they don't build all that from losing. But it is, it is fun. I mean, uh, it's an entertainment value to it, you know? <laughs> Vegas, video fake. People game all the time when they buy an arcade one up. Mm -hmm. And I've, I've, I'm worried sometimes one of these uh, arcade one ups won't, won't turn back on Papa Brad. <laughs> Big, big uh, RK one up leak today news. Did you hear about the uh, Miss Pac Man coming to Costco? Miss Pac Man Deluxe. No. There was a big leak on the internet. Woo! They're getting Miss Pac Man Deluxe at Costco. Uh, poor people. I'll watch it again when they bring back Glow. Yeah, I watched that. I watched that series. Of I did watch Glow. That was a guilty play. I watched every episode. Yeah. Speaking of watching every episode, I did uh, binge watch Fallout. I've watched it all now. It was great. He sent me that picture. On it was Facebook. great, man. Oh, Plosky, I was surprised. It was great. Like, it was so entertaining. 
if you if you've played the Fallout games, there's just so much uh, so much in there um, that's directly in Fallout. A lot of the games, it just was great. It was well mm -hmm. done. It was entertaining. It was it was different. You know, I liked it. It was good. I'm gonna give it a thumbs up for Fallout for sure. Nice. One out of ten. Would you give it? Hey, hobby hands. Um, one man. out of ten. Whew, 10, uh, 8, almost 8, a ten out 7. of ten. I would say I would say a solid nine. Um, that's good. No, that's good. Yeah, yeah. It was. Uh, I'd say a nine out of ten. Yeah, it was good. You know. It probably will. Uh, Video game Vegas probably will. He says if this new Miss Pac-Man XL comes out with the same garbage model of BOE that came out on the Pac-Man XL that couldn't handle the new angle, I'm not interested. I don't need to downgrade my experience yeah, i imagine if i will they ain't gonna get they ain't gonna invest in any new technology that's, that's for true. sure you're gonna get the I mean, same i can i can play the uh real class of 1981 rom which plays all the pac-mans and galagas and, and fast shoot galaga and regular galaga slow and fast pac-man and miss pac-man and have perfect controls by hitting a button with my arcade so what does this yeah, arcade get too. it gives me art in a cabinet to put it in maybe then I'm thinking, like, uh, there's probably going to be stuff I'll have to fix. You know, does it have a real four-way joystick? Does it have a quality four-way joystick? Because, you know, if I will give games, you... it's all about, like, the controls. You know, if you blow if you blow a turn on Miss Pac-Man and it's in fast mode, I mean, it, it'll be game over on the harder levels, you know, when you get up there. Even the, um, the newer Pac-Mans they came out with didn't have the right four-way joysticks. So uh, yeah. how do you think you're going to get this one? It's, it's going to be the same like, one. It's going to be the same use, joysticks. I mean, when I put a real Samwa with a four-way gate in mine, it made a huge difference. Yeah, mine too. And, uh, I, mean, I, I was going to use too. a real Miss Pac-Man joystick, but I couldn't because the real Miss Pac-Man joystick, Team McCloskey, it's made to go into a metal control panel. So I couldn't make it work with the Miss Pac-Man that I had. With oh, the, you couldn't? Uh, with the Namco cap. Yeah, because it has a thick wood. The handle wasn't long enough, but I bought a real. Wow. So I have a real Miss Pac-Man joystick that I ended up not using. But you can't. But you couldn't get a longer handle. Don't they make longer handles or not? I don't know. I don't know either. It, it, it didn't work. I was a little bummed out, but so I got a Sam one, put a four-way gate on it, and it was perfect. It, it played yeah, really that's what well. I, that's what my Mister Dude back there has. Same mm -hmm. thing. Same thing. Got the same ones. Yeah. Don't you have the button? Didn't you get the uh, gate switcher? Yeah. 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 Yes. Once got you have the, the gate one. switcher, man, the gate switcher is an incredible thing. Oh, it's so I great. love it. It's like magic. You know, it's like when you go to play those games that really require a good four-way gate, like Burger Time or Miss Pac-Man or Pac-Man yeah. or Mr. Do. even stuff like Mr. Do or Donkey Kong. Um, you it makes a difference way. when you have the good oh, controls, man. Popeye. When you can hit that button and, and put it in four way, I mean, it, it's it, I mean, if you like classic arcades, it's a big difference. You ever try to play Mister Do uh, Castles with the eight way? <laughs> no, it's almost no. impossible. I think I know better. Bar. Like at this point, yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah I, I would I'd love that four way, eight way, <laughs> gateway. I mean, it's, yeah, you told me about that. Man. That was a cool like, invention. Yeah, that's pretty Glenn neat. Did great on that. If you have any any multi cades you have to have that four way eight way. Yeah, the GRS four way yeah. to eight way gate switcher is amazing. It's a must on a multi cade. It is. Yeah. Then you can play everything, but not almost every almost everything. You can't play the trackball if you, but you can almost play anything. You know, with that. Yeah, great invention by Glenn, man. That's and it's not that much money either. It's easy to, to install. Yeah, it so just snaps easy. on. You take off <laughs> if you have if you have a sandwich, you yeah. just snap off the restrictor plate and snap it on. You're, that's Give done it in power here. and you're done make a buttonhole somewhere on your machine so you can switch back and forth it's Hell, some people mod. some people just dangle it off to the side i've seen people just dangling it off you know i didn't do that but some people doesn't even they're like hey, who needs a hole I'll just let it dangle on the side here i've seen people i've seen videos yeah on video that. game vegas is right an eight-way gate can actually play four-way games okay it's not optimal but better than a normal eight-way joystick yeah. yeah, the gate does make the difference. You're right. <clears throat> yeah. Biggie Fries knows he's got an eight way to four way on his multi cade. Yeah, it's the way to go if you have a multi cade. Hey man, we got we got the man of the hour. We got Gregory just popped in. Well, he's, he's Donating been... the big giveaway to the show, right? Yep. 
He's, uh, thank you, thank you, Gregory. Uh-huh. We'll be giving that away here in a little bit. Dang, it's already almost midnight. Man, I'm flying pop right already. It says Neo Buster's site is a great resource. There you go. Jason put the link in there. Biggie, Biggie D's in here too. Welcome, Biggie D. Sorry, he's been here for a little bit. But I don't think I said nothing. Welcome to the show, Biggie D. Biggie D, you, uh, you doing a uh, stream tomorrow night? I didn't see you on this channel <clears throat> if he wasn't up. All right, we got tonight. So I did the Killer Instinct thing there. I just wanted to show that real quick just because I found it. And, yeah. Um, I did want to show some pictures of uh, Star Trek here. Pop these up. So people are starting to get their. Uh, I don't know if I showed this one the other day or not. It's a Star Trek are... 4K pinball. Yep. This person here has it, man. It wow. Pins. Look at all the real pins. Wow. And look what's in there. Look at that. Star right Trek. in with the right in with the real ones. Look at that. Look at the height. The height's are like right up there. With it's the, funny. It still looks player. really like compared to a full size pinball. It still looks when you put it in that row. It looks small, doesn't it? Look, look it's a little taller than uh, the Foo Fighters. He probably has on. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, he has it on wheels. Looks like. Yeah. Do you have on wheels? No, no, I think he, he has no, the no. adjusters maxed out like I did. Yep, he got them all They're up as high it. as they go. Yep. It's cool though. It's a little, a little taller in the front here than uh, the mm-hmm. Foo Fighters. See mm-hmm. it? Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't, it doesn't look out of place. It looks small compared to all the other ones, but it doesn't yeah, look out of place. Yeah, compared to a real, real modern Stern, brand new modern Sterns. Look all the. Dude, he, <laughs> th- th- this, this guy must have some money. He has, he has all the toppers too. Like he has a Stranger Things topper. Oh yeah, uh, Foo Fighters. Oh, he's got the Foo, Foo Fighters, Fighters with the topper. Yeah, there you go. Mm-hmm. Nice, Stranger nice Things, setup. Popper, you know that one, Pop Red, don't you? <laughs> yeah, that's not my favorite, but... Yeah, especially for the price. Yeah. I guess he couldn't put toppers in the other row, because where would they fit? Oh, yeah, they don't... Yeah. So, yeah, that's probably yeah, the only reason this guy doesn't have them. Drop ceiling, yeah. Drop ceiling. Yeah. I wonder if he has them somewhere. Maybe that's why he had to put the ad games there, too. It might fit. It's probably close. That's close. It might hit the ceiling. Look at that. Yeah, because I think this... Oh, you have to yeah. take the topper off to bring it through a regular door. But look at that topper, man. It looks so nice to lit up. I like, I like the the blue. Um, it does look on good. The, on the topper. There was someone. Cool. Someone had put a video on Facebook that I watched earlier, today. Yeah, I did have that. Some reason. I you have that man, video. I the video is really cool. Yeah, I always delete shit, man. I had, I had it at one point. I think it looks great. But yeah, I do too. Um, here's some. Some other uh, pictures here on Facebook. So you got that side there. Mm-hmm. There it is there. Still got the um, protective screen on the play field. Still got the uh, protective uh, film on the glass. Here's the other side. It looks good. I like that it's Spock and, uh, and Captain Kirk on each side. Yeah. I think that was a cool call. And you can see the speaker grills there. Mm-hmm. Some, really people, some people have nitpicked about the Zen logos being on it. Go back. I don't think it looks bad. Up top, but ours is up top. Yeah. yeah. It's the same spot as Adam's family. Does it say Zen on the Adam's family? I never noticed. Yeah. yeah okay, right. I never noticed. Same exact spot. Yep. Same exact yep. spot. Okay. Yep. That's only that's only places you have it, too, is just those... Mm-hmm. Up there, you know, here it is on the yeah. outside. I mean, it's, 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 they all have the same. Um, uh, Zen button. And I don't think it's on the front. Nope. Yeah, that looks good. That's a good picture. Yeah, I think it looks great. Mm-hmm. One of the better arts. Well, they're all good. I mean, all the artwork. I love all the artwork of, of these. Go back to world. that picture. I was looking at something. Go back to that picture. I want to see that picture one more time. Can you pull it back up? The one you just set up. It is. Trying to see what all he has. He has an Adams family too. Oh yeah, he has an Adams family. Yep. Star Wars and RK one up Star Wars pinball. What's that other cab over there? I was trying to figure out what that was. This one. So we got Star Wars. That's an I R K there. I think. I can't tell for sure, but from the shape of it, it looks it looks the same. 
Interesting. Oh. This guy's got a nice little setup. He got a bunch of stuff, but he has yeah. an Adams family too. I, I just noticed that. I was like, is that an Adams family behind that arcade one up? Yeah, it looks like he got enough space. He's gonna put that. He's Star got Trek double. Up. He's got double, double, uh, double 4K piece. And he, I, he, I, I see the gap. He's gonna put it here between he's the two Star Wars. Put it in a row. Yeah, I would imagine he's gonna probably put it in a row. There's definitely enough gaps here to put it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a Star yeah. Wars arcade one up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't quite tell what these uh, two cabinets behind uh, Star Trek is. I see a bunch of buttons. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Looking good, looking good. Looks good. So there's another person that has two uh, 4KPs. Yeah, that's the second time we saw that, right? Yeah, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah. essentially, you can play all the same games on it, but you know what I was thinking, Team McCloskey? How sweet would it be, like, if I was uh, a wealthy person and I had a whole separate computer just to do with my At Games Pinball, my 4KP... How sweet would it be to have one set up and you just leave it permanently set up for OTG? I think that's what that's what I would do. If you know, I, had I think two, a lot of people that are getting two of them, they're setting one of them for OTG and VPX, and the other one they're going to play all the stock stuff. That's what I would probably do. What would you do? Oh, I definitely would have one set up permanently OTG. Because you don't yeah. need two to ha have the same tables. I mean, Adam's Family and Star Trek have almost the same table except for Star Trek. But, yeah, yeah. I, would, I would set one up permanently for OTG. Definitely. Yeah, I would too. I'm still stoked about Pinball Net. I mean, uh, it, it can't get here soon. I can't wait to get Pinball Net so I can get the rest of the tables. Oh, I know. Wait. Then Tuesday. I'll have everything. I'll have all the Sunday, tables. Monday, Once days, Pinball Bob Net Brad, drops, I have it all. I have everything that's available for uh, at Games Pinball natively to run. Look at that topper. Looks amazing. Team McCloskey, that looks great. I know, doesn't it? I love the blue they used. Look at this. The starship's coming out at you, man. I know. I know. The Enterprise is coming right at you. It's popping out of the topper. It looks good. It looks good. The art looks good. I love the way that they did uh, They did the planet, too. Yeah, on the uh, marquee area. Yeah, it looks really good. Look, really good. It works good with the table, too, because it doesn't have the Star Trek. It doesn't say Star Trek, Star Trek, you know? When you see the actual pinball running on it. Yeah. It's not duplicating the artwork right above the artwork. This dude's serious about keeping his uh, his screen, his dust off his uh, glass. Look at that. Like me, I got my Elvira. I that like looks my like, Elvira what do you think better. that is? You think that's a yoga mat that he just custom cut? It's that stuff. Um, looks like a yoga mat. It's that stuff he put in like drawers. That, like, okay. The stuff doesn't move in your drawers. Dude, he's and doing that. some surgery over there. He must be making a control panel for it. Go back. Look what he has under it. Team McCloskey, he has a computer on a cart underneath it. Oh, yeah, he's doing his... Um, he's doing a control arcade. panel. Yeah. I'm putting a custom art on there. And... He's got a computer underneath it on a cart. Oh, there it you is. That? See it? There it is. That's going to be an OTG oh, yeah. machine. In the cart. Yeah, it's it's going to be good. OTG in that mug up. Yep. That looks yeah, good. Stern better than this stuff. See, that's the only thing you can find. You got to buy Stern's dust cover. Or Dude, he has a real a Indiana stuff. Jones pinball. About on the side of it? Yep. You saw the Indiana Jones? I saw a little flash. Yeah, it's right there. Yep, there it is. Who else did he have back there? No, that's not a real one. No. I don't think. Well, it's no, it might be. I, let me see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is. That is. That's that's the... uh Put the Man Mandalorian That's the real too. deal there. Yeah, that's that's awesome. And got that's, the Mandalorian and Indiana that's Jones. That's the newer Indiana Jones. They have two Indiana Jones pinballs. They have a newer one. That's the one with like the the ten ball or twelve ball multi ball with the arc oh, that pops yeah. open with all the balls in it. Oh, it's that one, yeah. Yeah, that one's fantastic. It's cool, yeah. That's a fun pinball. I love that. They have that at uh, Wayback's Arcade. That's a great pinball. Who got some Both new people Indiana in here? Jones pinballs are really good. Hello, uh, Zero Cool. Got MG in here. Welcome, MG. That's an anti fatigue mat trimmed down to size. Okay. Yeah, I see people use those too, like for like, in drawers and stuff. He's stuff got them all. He's got them on every. I don't machine. like it. Yeah, that, that, that's the only other option you have is buy the stern dust cover or buy those types of dust covers. I don't like the look of those. You could cut them down to any size you want, but 
I want something like Stearns, man. Custom made for yeah, that game. man. Uh, I can't believe that game should make some uh, accessories, like some uh, dust covers. People buy those like crazy. Oh, people be they buying those off the right. up, man. That's like a, that's like a, that's like a, a, a you know easy way to print money. I mean, I know, especially if you custom theme them to the table, man. People yeah, I mean, those up, man. If, even if they didn't want to initially do that, they can make one that says at games, you know? Yeah. yeah. But custom theming it to the tables would be the best. Yeah, they need to call up Stern and say, hey, where you get those from? <laughs> and have Dude, them. Every time before I play, I, I wipe down the top of it and make sure there's no dust on it. I don't know. I'm, I'm so OCD. So I would probably I would probably be that customer that would buy a dust cover. Oh, I would. I would I would buy a at games one. Um, I dust it off every time before I play it, pretty much. Even with me having you know the stern one, I would still buy an at games one because it would be yeah. custom you know, custom fit. It would be the same. Yeah, it would with, fit know. good, yeah. And they got to you know cover up the control panel yeah. too. I that think. that buy stuff store artwork for the control panels a must buy. Mine's supposed to be coming Monday, man. Anytime, see what it looks any, like. anytime I get one of these, I'm gonna put one of the I'm gonna I'm gonna put the buy stuff store mod to the to the control panel. Welcome, Chuck and Chown. Welcome to the stream. Just because I don't oh, like the, I don't like that. it show. I don't like it show my fingerprints. You know. Look at that! Look at that. That back box is fire. That. Yeah, it's nice. Bezel man around. Look at the bezel. Looks great. Love that. This thing looks nice. Yeah, I love the blue they using. You see, I, it seems like their speaker grill um, art um, is darker, it's darker than ours. It's darker than ours. Yeah. It's darker, you can barely see. I think it's because yeah. of the spider web, but. It, it it pops. It looks good. Yeah, and I love the I love that blue on the, the bezel, man. Good. The speaker grills look really good. Look at that artwork on there. It's great. Yeah, look at that. And then you got the. It looks good. Planting yeah. on there, and that thing almost looks like it's lit up, doesn't it? <laughs> Gregory says that covers a yoga mat from Walmart. That's <laughs> what I said. I said it looks like a yoga mat. That it was been trimmed to size. It's like he did a good yeah, he, job. He did trim them. He did. He did. He did. Uh, huh? Say he trimmed it. Mm -hmm. The grill art on all the cabs. Yeah, I love the mm -hmm. grill art as well on all of them. There you go. That's good. Look at yeah, the what's your, what's... cars. This guy has a lot of Hot Wheels too. Hot Wheels. You got to look at you got a little Pac Man. Came on a Pac Man on the wall there. Not, yeah, not taking up too much space. <laughs> Give you some classic arcade games that are easy to run. Yep. Actually, Very it's not too bad because the way they did the the way they did the back glass, it doesn't say Star Trek. So, like when you see the table on it, it looks good. Yep. He, I don't think he ever had it turned on, did he? I saw a video with like you guys Star Trek here and Star Trek. I saw a video with the the Star Trek that we haven't seen yet on it. I think it was either the Deep Space Nine or the uh, I think it was Deep Space Nine or what's the other one they have? Not the Kelvin, Kelvin. timeline. Uh, Deep Space Nine. They have a video Discovery. with the actual Discovery. game on it showing the Star Trek game running. It looks good. It looks really good. Discovery is the other one. Discovery, yeah. But I think that was what they had running on it. It looked good. Yeah, I did see that video too. So. Yeah, my Facebook is slow tonight. The uh, What do you think looks better, the Attack from Mars, the Snoopy, or the Star Trek? Are the ones we've seen. The whole Peterson. artwork? Yeah, the whole artwork. I still like the Adams Family the best. I like the Adams Family the best still. So you're still yeah. happy with Adams Family. Yep. What about you? I like the Adams Family. Actually, like I'm not I'm not, you know. I think if I was buying it and I didn't have the Adams Family already, I might go Attack from Mars, maybe. The only thing I don't like is that doubling of the uh, logo. Yeah. But I wonder all the what, graphics other than that. I wonder what it looks like on the back. What if the back's black? If you flip, flipped it, you took it off and flipped it. I wonder what the, what the back looks like. I don't I wonder know. if it's black or if it's like white where the graphics are. 
I don't know. If I was thinking about that it. today. I was like, man, I wonder if you flip, reverse it and see what it would look like. I was gonna, I was, I, I thought about doing it my um, Adam's family because I'm gonna be taking those speaker grills off because I did buy some fluorescent green paint that glows under okay. the black light. So I'm gonna be painting the, not the grills themselves, so but I'm gonna do some paint the ring. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna paint the ring um, with the fluorescent green okay, on the speaker that'll be grills. Cool. Yeah, so when I take those off, I'm going to take off that marquee and uh, see what's on the other side. See if it's all black or if you can see like what do you have? Graphic. What do you have on there? Is that Battle? Yeah, Battle Deluxe. Yeah, Battle Deluxe is on there. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a fun table. Like that yeah, one. it is. I'd, I'd like that one. Again, it looks like this guy's showing. Yeah, yeah. I think anyone that waited for the um, attack from Mars will be glad with how it came out. Looks really good. Ah, there it is. That's the video I saw right there. That's the same one. Yeah, that's the video right there. That's the video I saw earlier. Let's show the boot up screen. It's interesting that the uh, toppers look washed out, but they don't look that way in person too much to me. What doesn't? When they, when you film the 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 pinball the the the, the, the topper sometimes looks washed out, but I think it's because you're pointing a camera at it and it's a very bright light. Yeah, you know it looks good in person. Like it doesn't to me. It looks worse on camera. I don't know because it's so bright. Like when you see it. Yeah, I think even in my background, if I turned the even when I put the dim as it goes, like if you could make it even more dim. Yeah, like that almost barely good. lit up. Yeah, almost like night. Like sometimes, if you watch my topper up there, sometimes mm -hmm. it lights up a little bit. You know, because I know this is a crazy, a crazy idea, but can you imagine if they would just put like a dimmer? Like you remember those things they used to always put on lights where you just like a dial and you turn it. Yeah, and you can go as bright or as dark as you want. Oh, That's yeah, what would be perfect for this. <laughs> that would be really the perfect thing for this product, because you want it just bright enough that it's. You know, you don't want it shining and reflecting on your play field when you're playing. Yeah, because like right now, and you look at the Star Trek, it, yeah. you can see it right in the middle of the screen right here. If they the had like right. a dial, like one of those those ones dials, like they have, they used to always. I yeah. haven't seen those in a while, but I know I have them there. here in my house. Yeah, uh, well, you, you can you can adjust your light to be as dim or as bright as you want. Yep. Like that really that's... would be the perfect thing for the topper. Yeah, um, I think the ceiling fans I have here has the dial for the um, lights yeah. inside the It's probably uh, something you fans. can do if you were good with electronics. It's probably not that hard of a mod to do. Like no, a you switch. Just have to, yeah, you just have, you to, just get have to get that, that switch doing. and then uh, wire it in there. Yeah, it's called a dimmer switch. That's the word I was looking for. Thank you, MG. Yeah, you just had to get the dimmer switch and uh, put it in there. It would be a real easy mod. That'd be a good mod to have. Uh, Shotgun Sean says, Shout Park would be amazing. <laughs> I think it means South, South Park. 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 South We're getting Park, South yeah. Park table. Shout Park would be fun, too. Shout Park. Yeah. <laughs> then he says, no more typing for me. <laughs> it's okay, Shotgun Sean. We know what you Sean. meant. We know what you meant. You're good. We're, we're good. Then the MG says, drunk typing. <laughs> Drink like another said, one, It doesn't man. matter for me. I have five thumbs, so whenever I type, I'm always... My typing's terrible. <laughs> mm -hmm. Gregory, Gregory says Sears. he likes the Peanuts cab. It's his favorite so like far. I do like that one, man. Every time I look at it, it's like... The oh, topper man, and the yellow cool. color really pop. You think uh, Adam's Family uh, or uh, Snippy uh, Topper would look good on that Adam's Family back there? <laughs> People are like, what? What are you doing? Interesting combination. But, yeah, yeah. But totally, totally, totally. We opposite. need more cowbell. More cowbell. <laughs> but anyways, let's watch this. Uh, let's watch this video, Team of the, the boot serious. up. We're getting serious here. Let's see the boot up. The boot up screen. Let's see. Let's see what's uh, turning it on for the first time. Out of the galaxy oh, pinball adventure. <laughs> I like it. That looks great. Beam me up, Scotty. Well, they disappeared like they got beamed up. What's not to like? That looks great. 
<laughs> yep, cool intro. I mean, only because of my age, you know, I would say I would like the, the original just because I'm so yeah. old. But I mean, you know, it looks, it's great. If you like, I mean, if you're a fan of Star Trek and you've, you're still a fan, I don't think you'd be disappointed. No. And it goes with the, the tables that's it on it. It looks good. Yeah. Discovery. Mm, look at that. That looks sharp. Discovery. And there it is. Yeah. The colors oh my great. God. <laughs> Video game Vegas is all caps. We, we, we triggered him. He's got all caps going. <laughs> No cat! All the cats! What's going on with the cats? Oh no! What's with this horrible fake Star Wars theme? Star Trek theme? I would be pissed. Yeah. Yeah, but it, yeah. it goes with the theme. It goes with the theme of the pinball tables on it. Because these pinball tables from Zen are all like new, yeah. you know, new. Like I know. said, it, part of that is generational. Cool. You know, for me, I mean, it will always be William Shatner, you know, as Captain Kirk, and Leonard Nimoy as Mister Spock. You know, those are always going to yeah. be, for me, like the Star Trek that I love the most. But you know, yeah. Like I said, these three tables that comes on them, they are like it, the the theme of the art on it fits the three tables that come with it. Deep Space Nine has some booming bass. We'll be getting them. Bob Brad, mm. we'll be getting them. Seventeenth, seventeenth, we get Doc them. Doc right? Mario likes the Star Trek intro better than the Attack from Mars intro. I agree. Yeah, I agree. I like the Mars, her tech from Mars one. I love the cow on there, but yeah, this uh, Star Trek's probably the. Yeah, it, is, it does get you hyped up. I like. I don't it. remember. I don't remember seeing the Snoopy uh, boot him up. You know, boot I don't up. know. I'm said. You know, whenever I hear Trek, I think of that 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 little trumpet thing at the beginning. Ba 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 ba. You know that thing that they do at the beginning of the show. I thought this played it, didn't it? No, it's like a little different. Maybe that's from the movies. You know. Well, it's, this one's a little more modern. Pop yeah, they have a bunch of Star Trek uh, musical themes, you know. And they had the opera one, like, oh, you remember that one from the TV show? Yeah. With the ladies singing real, with the high-pitched voice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep, I know exactly. I'm glad it's not that one. I'm glad it's not that one. But I do like the orchestral one where it's just like, bum, 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 bum. That, that would be the one I would want one, but... <laughs> Vegas says it's pretty cool. Need the real Star Trek theme. First Frogger, now Star Trek. <laughs> I know, man. What they do, video game Vegas? That's not the Star Trek you're looking for. He's looking like the old, like we are. Yeah, no Star Trek from the '60s and '70s. Yeah, I can't wait to play the tables though. Yeah, play the tables. I, I can't wait. It's to... pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm I played the, get that Star Trek oh. pack, man. I'm gonna be tearing that up. I can't wait to play it. Yeah, we're getting that soon, man. Soon, seventeenth, uh, I do believe. Seventeenth. Thor KC says he likes the Star Trek table. He says the OG characters are his favorite, and the Kelvin reboot actors are easier to get approval from, being alive and all. Yeah, that might be part of it too. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, it kind of goes with the theme of the, the tables mm -hmm. too. I mean, I get it. I like to see the old too. Pop this back up on the screen while we're talking about. It. Yeah, seventeenth, we're getting New Zen Studio Star Trek Pinball Legends Mini Pack launch on the seventeenth. So, the, so the renovation, winter. the renovation titles got pushed back. Huh? I see on the twelfth there. Yeah, they're pushing those back a little bit. Yeah, I had the clip somewhere. Well, I think they were now they're announced it on the twelfth, and then they were going to release on the twenty fifth. Oh, the twenty fifth. Okay. Yeah. Let's yeah. See. yeah let's see, the twelfth says um, oh, renovation update. game okay, packs yeah. update. 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 And the twenty fifth, um, they were actually supposed to launch game packs launch on the twenty fifth, but I think mm -hmm. they pushed that back. I have a clip of that. I think this it here. Oh no, that's not it. I have a clip somewhere, but I think it is getting even pushed back after the twenty fifth. Yeah, but as you see, you want to say it's reference only, so it's to change. So yep. yeah, it might not come out on the seventeenth. Hopefully, it does. I think it probably will. It does. Because, um, it's on the Star Trek you know, machines that people are playing, and so like it has the same um, flipper lag as everybody else. Well, I hope it is a little bit better though. Hopefully, it's hopefully a little better than Snoopy. It, yeah, because Snoopy was better than Anna's family, so hopefully, this will be a little better than Snoopy. So we'll see. We'll we'll find out on, on Wednesday, right? So. I'm buying it. 
I'm buying it first day. You buying it first day? Yeah. Or are you going to wait? Maybe it'll be on sale on the 26th, though, Pop Brad. Oh, oh boy. You know, I'll be yeah, kicking yeah. myself then. Maybe you might save five bucks or two bucks or one buck. Uh, if it goes on sale, I'm, I'm thinking it would only be good you like, what, 15%? Yeah. And that, it's a $15 pack, too, right? I think it's $15. We pull it up right here. I got it right here, Pop Brad. Boom. 15, 15 bucks. Pack. Yeah. $5 a table. <clears throat> yeah, ain't bad. So if it goes on sale, it would be like, Twelve fifty or something like that. I imagine, but I'm not gonna yeah. wait. I get it. And then here's yeah, the Twilight Zones, May twenty second, and then Kong, Godzilla vs Kong is May 29th. So all of them are fifteen bucks. Mm -hmm. Next generation is May fifteenth. So, so that that's exciting. And then of course Tuesday we get Pinball Net launch on Tuesday, Papa Red the sixteenth. Mm -hmm. It's only uh, three days away. I know so the teaching. pinball net is the thing I'm most excited for. Actually, I've been waiting. Like for me, that's the biggest. That's the biggest thing, because I'll be able to get the rest of the tables that I don't have. Okay, Junkie says is that game's pinball servers down. I'm not sure. I know they were down last night. I don't know if they ever pop came back up or not. I haven't been on there, but they were down last night. No, uh, their servers. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised too, Dark Mario, that the next cabinet has been announced yet. But we might see something on this sale starting on the 26th because everything is out now. Star and Trek is out. Out, we'll out, out, out more. Yeah, so I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we see. So uh, does the sale? The sale runs from the 26th to the 29th, so it's four days. Yep. And then on the 30th. Uh, 30th, the sale's over, but now you can have Star Trek. Next generation, and that's just for the pre-order. Interesting. Delivered to FX Legends. We don't know what they're going to put on evening. sale. We don't know what they're going to put on sale. No. But it does say, yeah, so see, for um, the FX Legends 4K CEP pre order customers will get it on the 30th, the next generation, and then we got to wait to the 15th to get it. Everybody else gets it on 15th, the next generation. Mm -hmm. A lot of talk going on about Galaga in the chat. Galaga 2. Did you know that there was a Galaga 2 on the Turbo Graphics? No, I did not. Yeah. I haven't played it yet. And Duck Mario Someone says, isn't it Gal Galaga 2 called Galaga 88? There actually is a, a game called Galaga 2 on the Turbo Graphics. Uh, you know, I was going to ask that games this question, but I haven't. Kind of forgot about it. Video Game Vegas says, has that games allowed people to tie their tables to the 4K yet? Or are we at the mercy of the servers going down? I don't know. Is the server still down? I haven't, like I said, I haven't been on the pinball all day, so I'm not sure. Yeah, I've been running at OTG, so like, it doesn't really, you know. Anybody else think uh, their servers are down? And Twilight Zone's coming out, yep. Yeah, it'd be cool if we get a new uh, announcement of uh, next uh, cabinet art. That'd be cool if we get on the sales. It's, it's a possibility because all the... Oh, Jason says it's Galaga 90 shipped. on the Turgo Graphics 19 TG16. thinking it's Galaga 90 on... TG16. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I want to play it because it's a version of Galaga I haven't played. Uh, you know, I love the Galaga, the whole series of Galaga type games, Galaxian, Galaga, you know, Gapless. Yeah, it'll be interesting how they see how they do this pinball net. Like Big D says, I hope pinball net runs even when servers are down. Well, it would still run if you down if you download them to your cabinet. I would think they would still run even if the servers were. Maybe down. not because it might have to connect to the. Uh, the, the App Store uh, X, sure, yeah, to know that you that you have it. Yeah. I bet it's just like App Store X because when yeah. servers go down, App Store X disappears. Yeah, that's how you know the servers. That's are down. the bad part about Pinball Net. Yeah. Well, it makes sense though because it's more expensive. You can buy them all. Yeah. Well, it makes sense because they got to um, verify that you they verify bought, that you have the, the game. Pinball Net subscription. Yeah, yeah. So it makes From sense. What I understand though, you're not streaming it. It's it's downloading it to your machine. So it's basically just going to check and see if you have a valid Just like Steam. That's how Steam is. Yeah. 
seems the same way. You got to download on your uh, uh, computer, but you know they they check to see if you bought it or not. Okay, now, I am really interested in this. It's funny that we're going on this Galaga side quest, but Thor KC says Galaga ninety one was made for the Game Gear and based on eighty eight. It was renamed Galaga two for the Turbo Graphics. See, that's the game I want to play. I haven't played that version of Galaga yet. A version of Galaga I have not played. I am I'm intrigued, T. McCloskey. I'm intrigued. Yep. Was it good? Was it good? Has anyone played Galaga 2? Galaga 90 on the TG-16. Sounds like it is, right? Has anyone played that? I'm curious. I have not. On the Game Gear. So it was made for the Game Gear. You know... There's the trilogy, you know, Space Invaders, Galaxian, Galaga. Each one got better than the last one, you know? Yeah, which one do you like better? Do you like Galaga better than Galaxian? I, I, yeah, I like Galaga. I like both I like of Galaga. them for different reasons, though. I mean, yeah. Space I like Invaders Galaxian. was black and white. Galaxian was the first game in color. And then Galaga, you know, they just kind of refined it, the double ship mechanic. And then this, the was revolutionary, you know? Oh, Ray said, uh, Ray said, I played it. It's pretty good. It's close to the perfect game, really. Galaga's a pretty amazing game. It's almost the perfect game. I mean, just for like a shooting type game, it's great. It holds up. Like, Oh, yeah. Still fun. You can take someone that's not even into video games, make them play Galaga, and they'll be like, this is a good game. You know, like it, it's like timeless, you know? Yep. To me, it is, at least. What's going on at 18th here? Uh, Legends 4K pinball model in the renovation in pack. What the go. games that they lost? What kind of games were they? Were they shooters? Were they shmups? Were they adventure games? I don't know much about the renovation games. Yeah, they lost. I know they games. lost a few games. Were mm -hmm. those were those shmups? What kind of games were those? Were those RPGs? Valis, I think it was. And so here we go, Pop Brad on April 18th. All Legends 4K pinball models are in stock for immediate delivery while supplies last. Available now. On 18th, all 4Ks are available for no more pre orders. Be all pre orders order and delivery. Pay me now. Cash on cash on demand. You get it the three to seven days. Pay me and you get it. Yep. So that's pretty cool, man. So, so this shows you on 18th, all are in stock. So it's time for a new artwork cabinet, right? So that's when, you're gonna, that's when you're going to order three more to put beside your first one? So you can have yeah. four of them in a row? I'll have two if they come out with Creature from Black Lagoon. That's the one I want, Creature from yeah. Black you Lagoon. You know what I'm tempted to do, man. That's the one I would. That's the one I would. That would be the one. You know, I'm tempted to do, but I don't want to do it right now. Uh, I'm tempted to do. I'm tempted to do something, Pop Brad. Uh, tempted to buy that Buy Stuff Arcade graphics or art. For uh, for bike, for the creature. Oh, really? You make your own. They it, they only want like two. It's one hundred ninety eight dollars. I think it's um, all the artwork, including the front with the coin doors. And you know what they have now for the front? What's that? The artwork. It's just like on a control panel. It's um oversized, so you do not have to take your buttons and coin doors off. Ooh, I like that. I do like that. Mm -hmm. That's new to the four K and. Uh, uh, that it's oversized just like the control panel that you got and yours look great so oh yeah that's perfect do it like that i don't have to pull all that stuff off i know and they're just doing cut it, it to the... the right size just measure yep. it you know that's what they're doing for the front of the pinballs now too that's awesome i saw that man i'm like man Dude, video bucks. Game vegas is giving me he's he, he's he's making me conflicted he's making me conflicted what if atkins announced a vira and creature Four KPs. Which one would I choose? That is a tough question. Well, which one would you choose? I, man, I, I don't know if I could handle that kind of pressure. Yes, they do, Ray. Seriously, though, which one would you pick? If it was Scared Stiff, I would have to go with Scared Stiff. Actually, no, I would go... I don't know, man. That's tough. I love both those tables. Uh, but yeah, Ray. Uh, I would probably, if it was scared stiff, I would have to go with Elvira. I just have so much uh, nostalgia for that. Although uh, Party Monsters has better uh, cabinet artwork. That's the one where she's like on the, the whole side of it's Elvira. But 
I don't care. Any Elvira table. Elvira and Pinball are just, that's a match made in heaven, you know? I mean. So here you go. So the video I'm going to show you here, this is Buy Stuff Arcade. This is the Adams Family 4KP pinball machine. Yeah, this was the video I sent you. Yeah, I deleted your uh, video, but I did find it. Yeah. yeah. I, I tell you, I deleted so much shit today, man. I deleted over 100 items off my computer. Dang, Team McCloskey, you're cleaning house. But I, I cleaned too good. I deleted your video, and I deleted something else I downloaded. Uh -huh. <laughs> but luckily, I still had it on your Facebook, so I was able to reclip it. But, but yeah, this yeah. is the Buy Stuff's Arcade artwork on Adam's Family machine, mm -hmm. as you can hear. Looks great. And they replaced the speaker grills. This, the, this all black. You can buy those too. Yeah, it's a little trek emblem. Well, there it it's is. Pretty spiffy. So that's their graphics on the Adam mm -hmm. family. Um, that game's 4K. So they do have the graphics. It's funny though, if you go up here, what's is the other side just a mirror image of the same graphic? So the I sides don't know. are different. They're the same thing, know. huh? On both sides. I, I'm probably. I would have to say probably, but it's funny mm -hmm. because they don't have that artwork on here on here yet. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, they down, have the video. They have the video on Facebook. I saw. Yeah. But if you go on here, up on a web page, they, they, they should don't... do a. They should do a classic trek. See, they don't have it on here. Do a classic know. Trek skin on that. A lot of people would gobble that up. See, this is the only ones they're showing. They're showing you mm -hmm. that one. So that new one they just saw, uh, just clipped. Well, it, do they have a different thing for the 4KP? Those are for the HD. These are all for... They show the same thing because around here is full ALP 4K oh, okay. kit 2024. It's, just, it's all the same art. They just same haven't stuff. put that one up there yet. And as you see, the one they showed us is not in this list yet. I mean, it's all the same skins. But imagine that when they just... It's funny that they have that video on their um, at, you know, mm -hmm. on uh, Facebook, and they actually have it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But you can't buy that skin yet. But as you see, it says, choose from back box graphics only or a full ALP kit. New ALP micro graphics and ALP 4KP now available. Mm -hmm. And then if you go down here, and you do um, here, you actually, you know, for the front. Yeah, yeah. Radi Radio Latori put in a comment, a, a request, buy stuff store, make a classic Star Trek skin. Classic characters. There you go. There you go. And somewhere on here it tells you that you can do the oversized for the front panel, too. I'm not sure where it's at, though. You can actually get new Plexi, too, for the back box. Mm -hmm. You can get the new Plexi where it's just all black. Mm -hmm. um, it costs you 69 bucks. Oh, wow. That's cool. You can get everything. Uh, new grills. I was telling you, you get new grills. Um, so they'll just be all black grills, 9 bucks for the speaker grills. And this, um, in that video, you saw that there's a logo up there <laughs> on the back box top. That's right. That's extra. You, you know, it's well, funny. Uh, Video Game Vegas, time, I went and saw, they re-released Star Trek, The Wrath of Khan, where, you, you know, like sometimes in the movies, they'll do like, they'll do an old movie, but you can go watch it again. Yeah. And like, I swear, I was like one of the only people in the movie theater watching it, but it was great. It's like, I had the whole movie theater myself watching Star Trek, The Wrath of Khan. I loved it. It's money well spent. It was great seeing it again on a, on a, on a movie theater screen. See, see, it even says on here, I can't find it where it's on here, but it says it somewhere, but it is required to remove buttons in the front box coin door except on the ALP 4K. They have the larger cutouts. So on the other ones, like um, the micro and um, regular HD, you have to you know, take off the coin door and the buttons. But um, for the ALP 4K, you do not have to. So they have the oversized... Uh, buttons mm. that's yeah. right con <laughs> con <laughs> there you go so let's see here 
Just to say we got that one. So we're, we want the full AOP 4K kit. We want the front going on there. Uh, you can even get your arcade panel oversized cutouts um, already on there. They'll come with the with the, all the artwork. Pop that sucker on there so you'll get the custom whatever graphics you order. You'll get the custom uh, control panel oversized cutouts as well. Uh, I'm not sure if I want new plexi or new grills yet, though. And then I, I, I'm not sure about the logo either. And what's out? Uh, they're going to run me pop bread. That'll run me 200 bucks. So you get all the artwork. You get on the That's control panel. Artwork. You get in the, on the front, the sides. I mean, everything for two hundred dollars. Two hundred bucks, pop bread. Two hundred bucks. And then you can have your choice, pop bread. Which one are you gonna choose? Which one are you gonna choose? You choosing this one? Oh pop yeah. Bread? Or are we choosing? Elvira, mm. Mistress of the Dark, or Elvira Two, the Party Party Monsters. There's the Party Monsters. Yeah, that's that's that artwork's great. I love that. There it is. There. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> wow. So here's the Party Monsters. Here's the creature pop bread. <laughs> Poo, yeah. Which one are you choosing? Which one are you choosing right now? <sighs> I would creature is my number Poo, one yeah. choice. Yeah, huh? if I can have if I can have a pinball theme to any theme for me, it's creature from the Black Lagoon. I'm sorry. So you're gonna do that over, over Elvira, huh? Mm -hmm. Over that. I know, Team McCloskey. <laughs> Call me crazy. It's a tough choice, man. And you know, like I said, a tough choice. It's it's, it's just running two hundred bucks. Not bad. I kind of I kind of want to just wait, and hopefully, Act Games will eventually do one because I, I would want the topper. Can you imagine the topper you could make for a creature themed table? How cool you can make the topper! I know you could do an amazing topper for a creature from the Black Lagoon. You could just have like, uh, the hands, you know. Yeah, or you could put the um, well. You, yeah, if they do, they, they, I hope the back box graphics would be kind of something like you know the, mm. the original one. I know it wouldn't be totally like it because you know you can't put all that artwork on. Well, no, you don't need that because you're gonna have it on the screen. I don't know what I would want the top to look like. Mm. I would definitely want the creature on there. I almost yeah. would like to have it like the way you have. It looks like he's you know yeah. coming at you Jumping on top of out. your. That's what I would want. But yeah, like you said, there's so many things you could do with that topper. I, I just love those graphics. I'm so tempted to buy this, but yeah, I don't like you, man. I would just love the um, that game to come out with it. I'm not sure if they will anytime soon. I think that eventually we might get it, but mm -hmm. but once again, there's that there's that poll, man. That Could pole. it be Indiana Jones next? Or Back to the Future? Back to the Future is a great playing table. It's a lot of fun. We did the competition. I really fell in love with it, I have to say. Yep. It's very good for... Yeah, especially with the ball trails effects. on. It's a great table. It's a lot of fun. Going to have those ball trails on on that one. Mm -hmm. When the few... So, well, you guys can't see that. There's that pull again, everybody. They did Attack from Mars... Mm -hmm. they, Attack they from Mars it. is the first actual pinball table. That's a pinball table. The other, the one, all the other ones are movies. But as like we know, Indiana Jones. Well, Twilight Zone's a pinball table as well, but because I mean they did Snoopy. You know they did a Star Trek one. They didn't do mm -hmm. Star Trek: Next Generation, but they did do a Star Trek one. Mm -hmm. um, so I won't see them doing that one for a while. Another one. Dude, please, please, no multi, no multi Kaida themes. Please no. theme it as one table, please. Please keep that going. Please, please, don't ever do a multi, a multi cab. Um, that, that's that's a bad idea. That's going backwards to me. Yeah, peanuts was twenty eighth. Pop bread, twenty eighth. Twenty eighth. What's already. creature? What's creature? Creature's not twenty eighth. What's creature? Like eleven? Eleven or twelve? Twelve. Twelve. 12. 12. Not too far behind Jaws, man. Yeah. Jaws was 3.08. Creature was 3.
Tech from where was Tech from Mars? Tech from Mars was third. They already did that third one. Third place, yeah. They did Star Trek. Where's, where did Adam's family end up? On here, it wasn't on there because it, it wasn't was, on there at all. It was it, no, because it was it was tables you would like to see because we already knew we were getting Adam's family. So uh, it wasn't even included because there yeah. was already a fact that Adam's family was what they were going to make. They were getting Remember? trolls. We're getting trolls next. Trolls. <laughs> it was thirty sixth. <laughs> So it just shows you, you know, they're not going by this. Um, what, what's what new uh, table is? Uh, no, they're not going by, but it was a poll with a lot of people um, that did it, giving you the interest levels. So I think it's good data. I mean, oh it, it, yeah, it's I good data. data using it. If, you know, if I've, you know, if you want to know what would be more popular. You know, I think they did Star Trek because you of, see, uh, movie movie tie-ins are are at the top. The top five have what three of them: Indiana Jones, um, Star Wars, and um, Back to the Future. Were three see, movie balls. titles in the top five. Have a great night, Meatball Saucy. Thanks for hanging yeah, out with us. Care. And I think we got Star. One reason why I think we got Star Trek is because uh, those Zen. Zen already had Star a Trek relationship one. with them. Yeah, they were doing the Star Trek tables. And they were new too. They just you know came out mm-hmm. not not that long ago, right? Uh, the Star Trek ones. There's you know three that we got. That's why I was thinking. I was like, what's what's the next uh, pinball pack Zen's working on? And we covered it on here. What the hell was it? Was it last show we showed that, or the one before that? Oh, the one with Zena, Knight Rider, and uh... Uh, yeah. I don't see us getting uh so I don't think Universal that Pack. Yeah, I, Battlestar ooh, Galactica. It. That's it. Xena Knight Rider and Battlestar Galactica. Knight Rider is going to be our next artwork. <laughs> I don't think so. Me either. So that's the next pack. So I was just thinking, oh, maybe they'd do one of these, but I don't know. I don't know about that one. No. So that's off the table, I think. I got all the stuff open again, Pop Brad. So I don't think that would be the next one. It'd be interesting. It'd be cool if we get one sooner than later. Hopefully they uh-huh. announce something on that sale on the 26th. We'll see. I'm ready, man. I'm ready to see something something new, man. Something all these fresh. other ones are done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all the starting on the 18th, they're all in stock. You could buy the ones that they already announced. So, uh, man, we need something new, right? Something fresh. And I, I, I would be okay. What would you want them to do? If they did a Star Wars, would you want to be a multi-cade? Star Wars theme. I'd want to see like old. I want the original trilogy, oh. baby. Does uh, Zen have that though? Yeah, they do. They yeah, have they do. They got tons yeah. of. They got tons of us. Uh, I got all the Star Wars. They yeah, got, they all, got different all different times. All different kinds <laughs> of Star Wars properties. Yeah. They got it all. They got, they got it all. What do you want? They have it, Team McCloskey. That's an entire it. category for Zen. Marvel's a category. Star Wars is a category. This entire yeah. category of tables. We got Star Wars VR. They haven't even Long done tables. one yet. They haven't even done the first Star Wars table. That's a whole different, whole different category. Bam! There they all are. We got look at them all. Yeah, look them all. Look at them all. The Mandalorian. Where's the Mandalorian? I don't see a Mandalorian there. Mandalorian's a good table. That was fun. Yeah. Mandalorian is a really good table. I enjoy playing that in a tournament. It's on here somewhere. But I was just kind of looking at the... So this is like the original one. Do they show a... I don't think they show... They probably don't show the um, actual cabinet on any of these balance of the force teaser what is this team Klosky? see the death star with zen a beautiful image Balance, Balance of, the of the Force coming soon. Sign me up. 
Ah, me and Ian shooting on the damn tables or nothing on that one. Damn. That looks great. Nice. Uh, there's. You got Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker fighting each other with lightsabers? That looks amazing. Yeah, so that's like the original, you know. New building Hope the Death Star that. in the background. Biggie D's even saying it now. They're literally building, building the Death Star in the background when the beginning of this video. Look at that Darth yep. Vader table. Hell yeah. Look at that. Is that coming to Steam? It's already out, man. The Balance of the Force? Yeah, it's all part of these packs. What well, comes in this one pack? The Balance of the Force. Back to the Those game. are sweet. Sucks they didn't really show you any um, gameplay. But yeah, it was a part of this pack right here. Okay. Balance, it's called Balance of the Force. It's already out, man. You probably have it. I'm sure I have it. Yeah, I was hoping they showed the table, but they don't show the table. <clears throat> but yeah, I would want an original. They have the original art on these tables, so they could do original. Would you want New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, or a mixture of all three? Uh, any of it. All the above or any of it. Yeah. Yeah. But they could do something like they did on Star Trek, too, where they could have, like, New Hope on one side. Gregor Empire says he has all those tables side. on the Switch. Oh, nice. What's up, Brooklyn Menace? Brooklyn Menace coming in the chat. Good to see you. David N., welcome to the chat. See, this is one I would like to see. I don't know if they can, though, because it's stern, but... This is, this is like something in the artwork I would be looking for be something similar to that to the, this here yeah oh they see something similar to that where you have obi-wan kenobi up here and more like the, the classic box. imagery yeah the x-wings yeah. coming in for the death star trench battle yeah, yeah that's pretty iconic yeah Imagine stern knows stern knows like that that's where the money is like yep. go original that's trilogy all their <laughs> all their pinballs like their their original trilogy themed because that's where the money is so if yep. stern's doing it yeah, Stern knows how to make pinball machines that, that sell. I mean, think about how much money a Stern pinball machine costs. So they definitely have their finger on the pulse of what's going to actually sell units, you know, as far as yeah. with, you know. And this is what the other side looks like. Mm -hmm. The Millennium Falcon, the Death Star, it's all classic Star Wars. You got Darth Vader trilogy on top. Images, yeah. So you got Darth Vader on this you side, all. we won on the other side. This is something I would like to see, though. I mean, as it can't be... As, as much as I love the art of this, this is not the greatest pinball table. Yeah, you it's said not that terrible. before. It's not, it's not terrible, but, like, you know... Oh, look at they have in the front here, too, man. You got Luke Skywalker over here, the X-Wing, and you got the TIE Fighter over here on the front panel there. That's pretty cool. That would be something I would like to see. It might not be exactly this because of Stern, but I'd like to see something similar to that. That would be my what i would like to see yeah i like the artwork i like like the stick with the original trilogy <clears throat> yep you know that would be my hope <laughs> right he says putting ren on the table yeah not it's funny it. a lot of people with the arcade one up when they did the star the star wars they would put the side they would purposely place it in the arcade where they didn't have to look at the disney star wars they would place <laughs> the strategy of placement of the pinball machine was based around not seeing Disney Star Wars. Isn't that funny? Yeah. Like, there was actually comments where people were like that they like, specifically put it there so they could not see the Disney side. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, Thor Casey asks, uh, Pop Brad, when are you gonna get Star Wars Pinball VR? It's only twenty bucks. That's right, you can play VR now. Uh, I know pinball I mean, I VR. Have... I haven't put on my VR headset in a while, T. McCloskey. It's been a while. Kind of, I've been, I've been neglecting it. it. I've been neglecting it. I, 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 I kind of haven't been using it much. It'd be kind of cool to play pinball with it, though. Yep. Video Game Vegas wants a Kathleen Kennedy topper. Oh, jeez. Mm -hmm. I know he's only kidding. Goofyfoot says, I ordered the Buy Stuff Creatures graphics from my ALP Micro last week. Video ah, Game nice. Vegas with some truth. I 100% agree with the statement. Stern Star Wars isn't a great table, but Data East Star Wars was the best. I 100% agree with that. 
I like the Data East Star Wars pinball table more, even though it's older, it. more than the modern stern. I love that uh, artwork, though, on that stern. I do like the movie clips and stuff on the new stern table, but the, the actual gameplay of the pinball, it's, it's to me, it's not as fun. It's got too much open area. It's a it's a drain monster. It's it's not the greatest pinball. Yeah, what would you do for a topper on a Star Wars too? Man, there's so many things you could do with that. You could do X Wing, Million Falcon. I mean, Death Star. Put everybody up there. Oh yeah, yeah. Death Star. <laughs> Death not Star. Not, I'd I'd like to see him with the one not complete though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the, maybe. Can you imagine if they had like a Death Star with like the X Fighter flying towards it or something? That would be cool. Or you even do, like hey, there's so much Star Wars stuff. You yeah. know, you could do anything really. You could have the, like, the Death Star. Like, you could have Death Star there, uh, not complete, and then have like um, Darth Vader ship coming flying into it. What about what about a giant Jar Jar? No. <laughs> An episode one Jar Jar. You don't want a Jar Jar Banks on the topper? A light Fuck up no. Jar Jar. Fuck no, Papa Brad. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. Misa, Misa so angry, me, McCloskey. Misa, angry. Get out of here. I'm kicking the ass. Get out of here. <laughs> at, at Topper, that at, at would be a cool, cool one. Oh, yeah. That would be badass. So many things you could do. Kathleen Kennedy, like... Think is that it means I want to charge our big stopper. <laughs> don't get shh, don't get them ideas, man. Shh. Oh my god, <laughs> no, I want to get ideas. No, 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 George, no, no, we just kidding over here. You say Gungan's gonna die? Uh, yeah, that's why I said million fucking topper. Mm -hmm. Almost wouldn't like a you know, I don't know, man, dude, so many mm -hmm. things you can do. Mm -hmm. Poor Bally Williams. They bet the farm on episode one with their last pinball. Not to bring up a sore <laughs> point, a, a sore point or a sad, a sad thing in the history of pinball. You know, they made the <clears throat> pinball 2000. They made revenge from Mars and, and uh, star Wars episode one was the last pinball they made. And yeah, they, I thought, saw it on they thought for sure it was going to be an epic phenomenal, like monster hit like star Wars. The original was, so they made their, 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 that really advanced pinball machine all around episode one. It's interesting if you learn the history of it all. It's crazy because they didn't even have that much to go on. They had like some, they had just, they gave them the bare minimum, like that they could use as design elements. But it's pretty crazy. That was the last one. That was the last Bally. Yeah, I saw it on Facebook around here. It wasn't that expensive for that one. No. We were trying to get rid of it. They're like, oh, I hate this thing. Yeah. I like playing. I think it's a pretty cool, pretty cool uh, table, but. I just had this picture up here because uh, Goofy Foot actually uh, ordered the, this for his micro last week. Oh, he ordered the creature uh, kit? Yeah, Goofy Foot well, did. That's going to be cool. I can't wait to see that. There it is. Revenge from our deep in. <clears throat> I know. I need. I know what Atkins Games needs, needs to do for Halloween. And Zen Zen needs to be on board. Zen Studios has come out with Texas Chainsaw Massacre, which we know they have the table, mm -hmm. and Act Games has got to come out with the artwork for Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Texas Chainsaw come, Massacre have, theme. Yeah, from you know the Zen Studios uh, mm. table that they have, but they haven't released yet. They need to release it around ha Halloween and have At Games do the theme artwork for the machine, and then uh, Zen launches the Texas Chainsaw Massacre mm -hmm. table. Yeah, same a pinball, time, a pinball M, a pinball M table. Hopefully, we'll have the pinball M by then. Wouldn't that be cool though? Have that come out near uh, Halloween, Texas Chainsaw yeah, yeah. Massacre artwork, and uh, Zen releases the table. Because mm -hmm. we already know we showed the we showed the table. Mm -hmm. So I played it. It was uh, on Xbox around December, I think. People were actually playing it. <clears throat> we need Halloween peanuts. Peanuts Halloween. Oh, they're scared stiff there, but then doesn't have a virus. So 
That's yeah, not, that's the hard. That's not a possibility, right? At least right it's now, not, not even on the table. The Texas Chainsaw is because Zen has made that table. They just haven't released it for whatever reason. They have. Well, they can release Chucky. That's a that's a big idea. Yeah. Chucky yeah. pinball. They could do it bright yellow like the uh, like the peanuts, but have it be M rated. Yeah, and that's how Zen has their table member in mm -hmm. uh, in there too. It's yellow like that. Yeah, it's like I think cool it looks artwork. like the box. It looks great. I think it looks like the box when you buy yeah, the artwork on that on that Zen Chucky pinball when you go into your little your little Room home there. or whatever they have yeah. where you put your stuff when you play the game. That looks good. I think that it's supposed like to that look could be like, a real pinball. Yeah, I think it's supposed to look like the box of the good guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the good guys. guys. Good guys. Yeah. Friends good to guys. the end. Friends to the end. Don't you have like a Chucky tag by your name on Pinball M? Are you yeah. a friend to the end? Yep, I'm friend to the end. Sucker. That's what it says, friend to the end. Mm -hmm. Yep. I played it so much, I got that. You have to play it so much to get those little tags. Yeah, that's cool. Halloween is a must. Does Zen, does Zen have a Halloween? I bet. Only one I know would be good for Halloween, right? as we know right now for Zen, is they have the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They haven't released it. And then Chucky. Those would be two cool ones to come out around Halloween this year. That'd be awesome. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jason. Smash that like button, folks. It's very appreciated. Yes. We need a stern Godzilla V pin table for the 4K. You know, Farsight, Farsight Studios, which does the Gottlieb's, Gottlieb's, or whatever the hell you say it, mm -hmm. um, they did do some Zen. They did do some stern tables. So if they can go with Farsight Studios, if they can yeah. get the license or whatever, um, they do have some uh, stern V-pens tables. I'm not sure if they have Godzilla, though, but mm -hmm. I don't know if that's something they could do in the future or not. If, if Farsight, because you can buy those Farsight uh, Studio uh, pinball tables on Steam still, so... Yeah, that would be, that, that'd be a cool one, too, Jason. They live pinball with the with the glasses on the mode. Yeah, the, with glasses on the mode. Yep, that would be cool. For pinball M, of course. Yeah, I just sent you a pic. Look on your phone. Yeah, that uh, Tron skin uh, Thor looks pretty cool. Check your phone. I just sent you something. We're on, we're on, we're on the board. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. We're on the board. We're on the board, Team McCloskey. We made the board. Arcade talk. We're on the board at Gregory's. Oh, is that Gregory's? Yeah. Oh. There's a Facebook post. Nice. We made it on there. We made it. We're on Elise's arcade board. Look at that. The thing, arcade talk. Am I allowed to show it or not? It's up to Gregory if he's here. Oh, cool, yeah, we're on the board, suckers. Did we show that pick, yeah. Gregory? Hey, we got to give that thing away, too. We got 45 people in here. We need to get that. Yeah. We got 45 people. The thing, in here. the thing, uh, action figure away. Gregory says, sure. I downloaded it. Man, I yeah, Gregory says, sure. You go. These are all the all the tournaments going on right now. Look at that. All the tournaments Our going, and here we are. From, there we go. Number arcade talk. The thing. Uh, that's right. M Cap's doing space station. That's awesome. It's a good way to keep track. Yep. Yeah, it is a good way to keep track. So that's many of them going right now. Need a little board like that. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's a really good idea. It's pretty cool, Gregory. That's awesome. That space station pinball is hard, man. I, I, I tried that one. I was not a huge fan. I've not played that one. Is that Zachariah? Uh, I think it's like an old. Is it? Is it Williams that made it? I don't know. It's 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 oh. it's, it's it's a real pinball machine. Um. 
Yeah, I, th- I think you sh- uh, showed it in uh, some of your arcade. Uh, yeah, yeah, I did. I did some course. shorts on it when I was playing it because I <clears throat> I put a score on that tournament. You know, what's hard is like, like you know, like the flippers. They have they normally have a spot where you can like hold the hold the ball. Like they're pop bumpers on both sides, so like it's just a different kind of feel to that table. Williams, nineteen eighty seven. Ray Latori loves that table. Nice. You said Space Station is Williams, nineteen eighty seven. Yeah, I remember seeing that on your. Do the Waybacks have that one? No, yeah, you it's put it somewhere. To me, it's it seems like a drain monster. That's the only thing. <laughs> I mean, well, not the drain monsters. It's a drain monster. I mean, I, I mean, maybe I just suck at it. I don't know. I couldn't get the hang of it. Um, like it's because there's no place like where you can you can't hold the ball and like like skill shot anything because there's where both sides of it have those things that shoot the ball off on both sides of the flippers. So like, there's a lot of times like I'm playing and I'll just inadvertently it'll it'll shoot it into the drain lane on the on the sides. And I'm like, what was I supposed to do? You know? I mean, it's like. Mm-hmm. figure it out yeah it sounds like it's, it's fun. fun i have to play it more i really don't have it down yet though i can't figure out like how to play it well learn to love it papa brad yeah there yeah. you go there you go the funny thing about the uh the the, the uh, space shuttle is called defender you know williams they had defender so yeah the space shuttle on it it says defender Really? <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool little Easter egg built into the pinball. I noticed that when I played it, um, when I went to that NASA arcade, they had all the space themed pinballs, and they had that. They actually had that pinball machine. Okay, guys, we're gonna give this away. This is from the thing. Awesome. This is the case that comes in. As you see, it's from the the thing. We're gonna give this away since we're doing our tournament this week. Uh, Gregory uh, asked, hey, let's do a giveaway of uh, this action figure since you guys are doing uh, the thing tournament. So That's we're going to give awesome. it away right now. Some of the stuff, the ultimate. The alien ultimate terror. alien terror, the thing. And that's what you get. This is all the stuff that comes with it. You, get three, you got three heads. <laughs> <laughs> three heads. Three heads are better than one, T. McCloskey. So obviously these pop off, pop back on. So you get you the whiskey four. bottle with the stiff drink. Yeah, if you can't tell, this this is actually I'll a I'll be glass. posing him with that whiskey bottle and that drink in his hand. That's what I'll be doing. <laughs> Kurt Russell with a drink in your arcade. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. So it even comes with the own little glass, guys. Mm-hmm. Own little glass. You got the whiskey bottle. You got the lantern. You got the shotgun. Comes with six He's hand. ready for action. He's ready for action. Look at got that sunglasses. hat. He's got the cool hat like he wears in the movie. You got the glasses with the you know string on the back, and you got mm-hmm. dark glasses, sunglasses. So you get all this in the in the kit. So. Yeah, easily one of the best horror movies from the eighties. I would agree. It's like you said, um, holds up. So this is all courtesy insane. of uh, Gregory. So uh, thank you, Gregory, for uh, helping us with this uh, giveaway. The practical uh, special effects do hold up better too, even on old on mo- older movies. Easily Watching that scene part. where the uh, the head comes off the table and shoots its tongue to the to the, the and drags yeah. itself across the floor and turns into the spider that still looks incredible. Yeah, it, it does. Looks, it looks great. It's like, man, they need to do more of that in Hollywood. That's some pretty awesome special effects. Good luck, and then here's the. You get three interchangeable heads. You get swappable hands, hat, goggles, a rifle, a lantern, a bottle, and a tumbler team. McCluskey, what more could you ask for? It's and the it's whole been, package. And the tumbler's halfway full. <laughs> That's right. He's going to have a drink. Yeah. There it is. In the corner there. You can see it's halfway full. He's got his whiskey in there already. Mm-hmm. KJ. It was a KJ. Okay, there is. See, let's start collecting. It's a hashtag thing. I didn't say the thing. I just said thing. Hashtag thing. There you go. Hashtag thing. Good luck, everybody. Hashtag thing. 
Team McCloskey zooming into the crotch. We got the zoom into the crotch shot. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good luck, gamers. Good luck, gamers. Hashtag thing if you want to win this figure. You got a good chance of winning. There's only four. Even if everyone, if everyone puts in the hashtag, and I don't think everyone will. There's only we have 42 people here, Team McCloskey. That's pretty good odds. That's good odds. That's yeah, really good odds of winning something. Dude, Brooklyn said, if the fly is unzipped, then I don't want it. Mm -hmm. I don't need to see the thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, they're rolling in. They're rolling mm -hmm. in, Papa Brand. Here they come. Here they come. Thing a lang. Hit that like button. Good luck, gamers. We're giving at a thing action figure. Care of Gregory. Thank you, Gregory. Great Thank guy. you, Gregory. Competes in all of our tournaments. Runs his own. Hit that like button. Yep. Courtesy. This is courtesy. Great of member Gregory. of our community. Yep. So glad to have him watching live. And then pull my thing up here. Speaking of video Whoever, game Vegas, he was on Glenn's show. That was a good show. I watched that. I missed it live, but I watched it on replay. It was really entertaining. It's good seeing you on uh, on a show, Video Game Vegas. And then whoever wins, uh, just shoot me uh, your address to JT McCluskey at Yahoo. Or, yeah, Yahoo.com. So I can mail it to you. Only 17. You got a 1 in 17 chance. Is that 17 or 12? 17. 17. 1 in 17 chance of winning a thing figure. That's pretty good odds. <clears throat> Already had it up. Prod shot. NEC. The zipper is, <laughs> is zipped. It's not unzipped. Yeah, it's zipped, zipped. Uh, I thought it might have been unzipped with that crotch shot. That's where it <laughs> zooms to. Uh, the pants are a little tight. The pants are a little tight. That must have been the style back then. 80s. Yeah. But this is what you get. There's the kit you get. Pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. You got, you got um, the flowing hair. You got the angry face. You got the surprise face. Mm-hmm. The thing will be unleashed. <laughs> Has a Chuck Norris and Michael B. <laughs> Those look like the Chuck Norris there, the one angry one. The OG parachute pants, there they are. The parachute pants. That's he started the trend of the parachute pants, probably, right here in the thing. Were they parachute pants though? Or are they more military type? I think they're more military, huh? Gregory asks, notice anything about the dog? I don't see a dog. Is there a dog in there? Oh, that's that's one of those sound clips on the, the table. Oh yeah. On the pinball table. That's one of the things that's that right. says. Notice anything about the dog? Yeah, it's yeah, when, when its face peels back. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed it's something. Tentacles That's right. or something shoot out of it. Yeah, it's a little it's odd. Right well, there what might be is. something wrong with that dog. I, I thought maybe the dog might be infected with the, the, the alien virus. I can't quite tell. I can't put my finger on it. But there's something. Mm -hmm. There's something wrong with that dog. Something wrong with that dog. He doesn't look too healthy. The whole version of Elvis. Yeah. That line makes me laugh every time. <coughs> yeah, it's in the pin. It's in the Zen uh, pinball uh, table too. Every time you, every time you get that mode, right? Every time you get the mode, he says that. Yeah. When you start the mode for the dog. Well, he's got the scotch. We got the glass with the scotch in it, but I'm not sure it comes with. Comes with. He's drinking a stiff Chess drink. Master. Yeah, I'm not sure if they had a game for uh, the thing for Xbox or not. I remember if they had. Okay, we got any more uh, people interested? About 17, so you should go 17. ahead and do it. 
I think that's going to do it. You have a 1 in 17 chance. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. Good luck, gamers. Let's roll. Put your name in there. Good luck. Here we go. Oh, they did. They will. Here we go. Who's going to be? Round and round she goes. Where she stopped, nobody knows. And the winner is... Slowing down. Brooklyn Menace. Brooklyn Menace. What? It. Nice. Brooklyn Menace. Congratulations. Congrats, man. Dang. Get your very own uh, thing action figure. That's nice. pretty cool. Nice. You put it in your arcade, man. Make sure you have Congratulations. the... Congratulations. The glass with scotch in his hand. Mm -hmm. Congrats, man. Nice. All right, so this guy's a winning champion. He is, man. Brooklyn, you got... Hey, look. Team across, you got to play to win. You got to play to right. win. Right. And the, the best thing is this is unfixed. You can't fix this. This is unfixable. This is a fair way to draw for a prize. There you go. Brooklyn said no I knew control it over it. There's no control that you have over it. There you go. Congrats, you Brooklyn. Still deliver to Brooklyn. Just drop me uh, your address in uh, Facebook's there. I'm good to mail it off to you. He's going to make it battle the action figures that he won on Tuesday. <laughs> what, do you, what do you win on Tuesday? I think he, he won some stuff on, uh, I think Rascal showed oh, Rascal. some action yeah. figures. Yeah, he's gonna have he's gonna have a whole. He can make a diorama. The BG's figure. <laughs> this kind of BG's. Like that's the right. BG's. Does look like the BG's guy. <laughs> Staying alive. Thirteen, thirteen, Mockingbird Lane. That's where the monsters live. Congrats, man. Awesome. Congrats. That's old, that's old news there. Old news. Old Adam. news. Yeah, it's about, I don't know what it was, but something from April 2nd. Okay, so we got that out of the way. Thanks, Gregory, for that uh, giveaway, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Gregory. We appreciate it. And then we did want to talk about... Oh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to Arcade Talk. We're trying to get uh, Team McCloskey to 1,000. So if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and hit that like button for the stream. It really helps out the video. And subscribing helps out the content creator long term. So please, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to Arcade Talk and Star Wars Review. Flipper Friends. Will you be my flipper friend, Team McCloskey? Sure, I'll be the flipper friend. Friend, I can't even say it. Flipper friends tournaments. We're flipper friends, Papa Brad. We're flipper friends. We're flipper friends. <laughs> so this is those those riddles they were giving out the last couple of days. We tried to mm -hmm. solve on Thursday night, mm -hmm. and we That's... totally got all of them wrong. Yeah, nothing to Basically, do with any of anything that we were they were talking about. Had to do with flipper friends tournaments. That's what How I, do they I get that out of those pictures? I need I need it deciphered. I need oh, well, it deciphered. You got the flipper. Uh -huh. You got the ball. When they did that image, what did that mean? Oh no! Did they ever? Oh, here's your it? triangle. Remember they had a Was triangle there ever right a here? key or explanation of what? The, or is it still going on? No, because this is what it was up leading up to. Flipper friends. That's tournament. what it was leading up to. The flipper <laughs> friends. Yep. What was leading up to Pop Brad flipper friends tournaments for friends. So it's kind of cool, though. So uh, this thing tells us that uh, some of the tables that we're going to be getting are coming up. Well, I love playing in tournaments, so this is this is good news for me. I mean, I'm I'm all about this. So the first first one starts out um, April nineteenth through the twenty fifth, mm -hmm. and then hopefully uh, there's no delay on those uh, Star Treks because the first one is uh, Star Treks Pinball the Kelvin uh -huh. timeline. Is the uh -huh. first one you got a little bit of everything you got you got, you got zen <laughs> the star trek pinball kelvin timeline you got non-zen space invaders from the taito pack one and you got pinball net <laughs> black hole gottlieb so these are going to be going on all at the same time i guess mm -hmm. zen non-zen and then pinball net that's kind of cool so hopefully there's no delays in those uh, star trek Tables. Yeah, uh, that's yeah. The first well, one. if they're planning a, tor a tournament around it, um, that's going to be problematic. Yep. 
So I don't think we'll have any delays. And then the second week, April 26th to May Take care, 2nd. Doc Mario. Mm-hmm. Hey, have a great night, uh, Doc. Have a great night. More Star Trek. Three Star Treks in a row. It's Star Trek, Star Trek, Star Trek. <laughs> Ain't that funny. It's like... Then you got Le- Legend of... How do you say that? Cage? Yeah, Legend of Kage. So every week you're going to have a Zen, a non-Zen, and a pinball net, which is pretty mm-hmm. cool, I think. And then you get Voyager from Zachariah. Mm-hmm. And then May 3rd through 9th, you get uh, Zen, Star Trek, Deep Space Nine, non-Zen, Frontline, Taito, Pack one Pinball net is Gladiators. Got them. Another got them mm-hmm. table. And then look on uh, May 10th. Bob Brad, May 10th through May 16th. I guess we'll have Attack from Mars by then because it's in the tournament. And it's going to be released Attack May 8th. From Mars. It's going to be released May 8th, Pop Brad. Right there it says. Two days yep. before it's going to be yep. released. Release date's May 8th. So. Then Non Zen is going to be Acronoid. Arachno- yeah, Arcanoid. Uh-huh. Arcanoid. Taito Pack 3. And then Pinball Net's going to be Aliens. Zachariah. Uh-huh. That's cool. So yeah, so now, at least now we know when we're getting attacked from Mars. May 8th will be released. So there you go. And then release day with then May 17th through the 23rd, we get Zen's Star Trek The Next Generation. Which the release mm-hmm. date is May 15th. Mm-hmm. And then non-Zen's going to be Operation Wolf. Title Pack 2. And then Pinball Net's going to be Fire Mountain. I don't remember I don't remember Fire Mountain. You ever play that one? Yeah. Sakurai yeah, as well. Uh, yeah, fun? they're all good. All the Sakurai tables are good. So they're going to go through these each week, huh? Looks like and... it. Three different ones. <gasps> Look at this. May 24th through the 30th. We got, we got Twilight Zone, which mm-hmm. is going to be released on May 22nd. So now we know for sure. We May 22nd for that one. And then Nanzen is uh, Darius. Uh-huh. Title Pack 1. And Pinball Net is Zancor. Ah, so here we oh, go. Oh, week seven is going to be my week. Look at that. We got Godzilla vs. Kong. Kong, which is going to be released on May 29th. I wonder why they didn't do Woods Queen Deluxe. It's a little bit, little bit better table. Pinball Net Woods Queen? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Want to do original one first, I guess? I guess so. Justin, another Taito for the non-Zen. And then another Godzilla. So we had Godzilla versus Kong, and then next week I noticed, I noticed oh, like, with all the pinball nets, they're, they're picking the retro versions of the tables, not the modern. Yeah, re- you know they because they have deluxe versions of those. Yep. You got elevator elevator action. I played that the other day. Mm, that's fun. Yeah, it's a good table. It's pretty fun. <clears throat> I like a, it has some of the original uh, sound effects in there from the yeah yeah the that's cool. Action. The only thing that I think would be cool, can you imagine, like, you know, a lot of us have the control panel. If they had, like, a little mini game, like, if in the future, if they could design, a like, a pinball, and, like, maybe when you get to a section, like, you actually use your controller. Because even the stock, even the stock uh, ALP has that thumb pad, the little control pad. If they yeah. had, like, a mini game where you would actually use that, that would be, be a neat little thing to do. Yeah, that would be a neat thing. None do. of the tables do that. Yeah, and that's true. That'd and they're cool video to... game related. That's the only reason I'm saying, like, you know, you could you could actually put an actual video game element in it, you know? Yep, that is true. See, it's in June 14th. Uh, we're going to have Kong. And they're doing all the Kong versus... Uh, there's, what, three tables on that one? So they're doing all three of those. They did the Twilight Zone, did the Next Generation. Did they do all the... They, oh, yeah, they did all three of the Star Treks, too. Okay. Interesting. Okay. So, yeah, June 14th to the 20th, you got Kong... And oh, the places you'll go, and then space, uh, space shuttle. There you go. Mm-hmm. People were talking about that earlier. Then June twenty first and twenty seventh, you got Williams Pinball, the Adams family. Hey, finally we get the Adams family. 
And then Haunted House. Den. Rainbow Islands up right now. And then uh, Pinball Nets got those Haunted House. Oh, cool. And then June 28th through the July 4th, we got title to be confirmed. Release date June 26th. Mm, mystery Ooh, title. Get on mystery June 26th, title. Rad. Mystery title. Mystery title. Is that going to be the next uh, artwork? Something in the works. Something they can't they can't say right Ooh. now. Top secret. <clears throat> Will we have, Will we have a new art, be? new machine, new artwork? Maybe something Around that's that unannounced. Yeah. Something that's not announced. It'd be awesome if that might be our uh, clue to uh, new uh, artwork mm -hmm. for uh, the next machine. And then the non zen will be Fox and Socks, and then Soccer Kings. And that's it. It's yeah. a lot of tournaments. A lot of them. So you got so, eleven weeks. It takes us halfway through the. Summer? The, uh, this is season one, Papa Brad. Season one. Are they? I wonder if they're going to be using the same leaderboard system. Um, they, well, they said the I hope they're revamping they, it because the leaderboards they, were. They said they are. Mm -hmm. They said they that's were. That's awesome, so though. That's that, that was part of the delay of Pinball Net was mm -hmm. re redoing the leaderboards. So yeah, that's what they said. They're going to redo the leaderboards. I mean, hopefully that's that's all good to go. We'll we'll, we'll find out on April nineteenth. I hope I hope I can put my scores in there. Last tournament, yeah, because yeah, I remember scores. the last time you played in the tournament, it didn't count any of your scores, Team McCloskey. Nope. You were invisible to the leaderboard. I was invisible, sucko. You were not invisible. happy. You were cussing off yeah. camera. It was bad. I remember some be, cussing. Uh, I remember some cussing. That Fox and Sox, man, I was like number, what, well, I was like number six or number eight in that one. I know, I know. You know on, on the weekly board. And then you didn't get counted. I didn't get counted. It didn't, it wouldn't record, it wouldn't do your score. I was on the weekly, monthly, and all time boards, but I wasn't on the tournament board. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. You're, well, if you're on you know, one, with this many tournaments, they're going to, we'll find out quickly if the, if the tournament, if the uh, leaderboard system's working. April nineteenth. We'll find out. Yeah. April nineteenth. We'll find out okay. very quickly. I mean, you, you know, uh, we were thinking one table a week. They're doing three tables every week, so every week. they're going to have a lot of leaderboards to keep uh, maintained. Starts next that's Friday. That's awesome. I mean, I love playing the pinball tournaments. You know, so there'll be plenty of there'll plenty be plenty of places to play and have your score counted, which is part of the fun. You know, to me, I always play better if I'm competing. You know. I Another, enjoy it more. It's more fun for me to play in, in a community like this yep. than to, you yep. know, just play for score. Another person affected by the leaderboards on tournaments is Goofy, Goofy Foot. Foot. With the, his angry face, he's so angry. T. McCloskey, he is so angry that his face turned red. That's My face angry. turned red after when we were talking about how screen. Dude, oh, I know. I, I feel Goofy Foot's pain, man. I was mad. I was like, no. Because I had such a good score, man, and could have been up there. And nope, it wasn't counted. Me and Goofy Foot weren't counted. Mm -hmm. David so last time he was in there, he won ten dollars coupon code for Dr. Seuss. Nice. I know it's awesome. They give out prizes and stuff. That'll be fun. That's gonna be a lot of fun for the community. Hopefully, they don't do just like who's the best, because it's a lot of times the same person. It's always the best, you know. Hopefully they do some other stuff like maybe some randoms and some other, some other things. That is too, uh, Jason. Because that you way know, they're not just giving the prize to the same three people every time. Yeah. That always win. Yeah, That's because what we did. We did. We decided with ours we're going to do a random. Remember, Team McCloskey. Yep. Because it's like some some people will never be in the top couple. You know. So look at that, Team yeah. McCloskey. You printed that sucker out. This is for Mac Games. As you can see, it says that game's on there. This is for Mac Look Games. That. Look at that, Team McCloskey. This, this is, uh, if you guys can't see, it's, uh, make it a big screen. I, I did find it the other day. Okay, so th this was the list of tables that they gave us a long time ago. So the table they might be releasing on a 26 could be Charlie Brown Christmas, could be the Gearbox Pack, or it could be South Park. Those are all on this pay on this paper I have that have not been released. So I think it would probably be one of those coming on the twenty sixth. 
would be my guess. Now, Gearbox has three tables to it. I actually found this on my thing, but I did not copy and paste it onto my new uh, folder. So I think it's going to be one of those three. It, I, my guess would be South Park, uh, but it could be Gearbox, though. Christmas, Charlie Brown, we might not get that to closer to Christmas, but we will see. But if you go by this list they gave us, they gave us back in one of the nods, uh, my guess would probably be South Park. That might be the release on June 26th. <clears throat> yeah, I want the Peanuts Christmas table, but I do hope they'll make a great pumpkin. That See, that's something they could drop around Halloween. And that gearbox is uh I'll see Zen as well. That, that one looks pretty good. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> I miss it. So My friend's back. At? I'm back. I'm back. Sorry. Get some ice. Got some ice. Yeah. Ice. Ice is nice. Ice. 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 Baby. This is awesome, though. I mean, I'm I'm thrilled. Like tournaments. This is, I'm all about this. I love this. You are. Oh yeah, man. <laughs> I love you, you love you, Hurry up, children, let's take our seats. I have these bogus nightmares on that nose. Oh, it's green carpet with visitors. I know that no such thing as visitors. Shut up back there. Is it okay? Hi, Sam. How about we call it? Sarcastic ball. You'll so have a balloon instead of the ball. I can see Mr. Peggy's song. Butters. It's Butters. I am Professor Peggy. Brewing up this broken balloon. Butters, come down. Okay, man. So it could be that one, which my, my guess would be that one. Could be that one. Could be released on the 26th. And it looks pretty fun. <laughs> so, look, look, so that one comes with what? Two two tables look like? Butters and then the other one? Butters has sparkly balls. Butters. Sparkly balls, T. McCloskey. Not really interested. Ray in is hoping it's South Park. Yeah, it's one of the ones that was on this list. It's on the list. It's on the list. The ones they said were coming sooner than later. So I'm trying to find that. Only one I, I couldn't find that. Uh, I wanted to show the the gearbox one, but I don't know why I can't find that it's on their own web page. I found it on here once before. Must have its own. And it, you know, Zen has so much stuff up here, man. I know. There's a lot. Uh, find it here. And then, like you said, you got the TV classics coming Knight Rider. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Or Galactica. Zeno. Well, the good that. thing about using um, 
Zen the way we are is that we know the leaderboards are definitely rock solid, you know? Yeah. I mean, they're totally, they're totally 100% rock solid. Um, yeah, I haven't heard anybody complain like, hey, my, my score my wasn't registered. No, 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 they have they have that down. Whether you're on the PlayStation or you're on Steam or you're on the Xbox. And the thing is, it's all cross play, T. McCloskey. Yes, it is. But the Act Games will be its own. Except its own Switch. The, the uh, Act Games, I, I'm assuming it's going to be on its own leaderboard system. So it'll not be connected to the, to the uh, Zen leaderboard system, no. right? Right. So hopefully Act Games has their leaderboard um, tracking and everything set up where it works well. Yep. But so this is the borderline. They that, that, that's what the, that's why they said they needed the extra time. So hopefully we yep. see that you know when we when and people start playing. They're going to revamp the leaderboards. Mm -hmm. One reason why it was delayed. All right, this is the Gearbox uh, pinball pack. Um, yeah, Kung Fu Fury. That would be awesome. I would love that. Hey, you must be the new recruit. I am a CL4 PDP steward bot, but you can just call me General Flattrap of the Grinchhead Raiders. <laughs> Borderlands. So you got to battle him, man. He's like middle of the board, kind of like creature. That's cool. FX3 has a fallout table. Did you know that? I did not. Yeah. That was just a borderland. The fallout's been real popular right now with a new TV show. Yeah, I bet. What is it that makes a great soul? Brothers in Arms. This is part of that Gears box. Mm -hmm. Heck. Yeah, I like the Skyrim table too. Ray. It's good. This looks pretty fun. It does look pretty cool. The army theme is pretty cool. Yeah. The World War II, that looks like it'd be cool. Got stuff blowing up in there, man. You got stuff blowing up. <laughs> pretty cool. So these are all in that gearbox pack. There's one more. Let's see it on there. Yeah, the third one on here. I thought it'd have been right next to those two. Yeah, uh, just showing on here. Ah, I remember still where I was at. Okay. Weird how they did this. To looking for. Hmm. It's weird how um, they don't have that third. There's that one. Right. This video shows them all. What is it that makes a great soldier? Is it his brain or his heart? Mm -hmm. yeah, Skyrim's on FX3. Look at all that blowing up going on. The pair troopers is pretty cool. <laughs> you got a lot going on in this one. A lot going on. T. McCloskey's excited for this one. This one's explosive. He T. Shows McCloskey, some, like, you heard they're blowing stuff up real good. And all of a sudden, a sparkle, a sparkle appeared in your eyes. I have not seen <laughs> since Arcade Wars. They're blowing stuff up. That's kind of cool, though. They showed a little bit more of it. Hey, 
Homeworld. Yeah. Okay, Homeworld. There they are. Pinball Bites. And Borderlands. The pinball show. All in one. Yep. Box, pinball three pack. Huh. It's not too bad. Just wait until you play Brothers and Arms. Just like the incredible first person shooters, this table puts you as Staff Sergeant Matt. Are those people still on the show? They weren't in the last one we watched. They are some yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I they must, they really must have got downsized, huh? Yeah, they might have been gone. I don't see where they showed Homeworld. I don't see it either. Good luck. Any jackpot to you all. Thanks, Echo. And as a reminder, that Adam family launched. Skyrim is FX3, as is Fallout and Doom. That's right. Yeah, the Doom table is really fun. I played that in Gregory's tournament. It's weird that they don't show Borderlands again. Hmm. Oh well. Yeah, it's weird that the only one I can't find on there was that Homeworld. Mm -hmm. Weird. That's the Gearbox one, and plus you get the it's it Charlie Brown. Christmas. That was another one. It seems like a, if, if I was them, I would save the Christmas one for closer to Christmas. I mean, who's going to buy a yeah, Christmas table thinking. in the middle of the year? Yeah, it's funny that they, you know, but yeah, it's funny they, they had it on that list of Zen mm. tables coming out. That's why I said, too. Like at this point, you might as well wait for it to be closer to Christmas. Oh, uh, Jason just sent a link for the, uh, the Homeworld pinball trailer. I would have to go to. Uh, oh, he popped up on Steam. Yeah. How do I do this? Oops, I got it. You got it. It's weird they don't have it on their uh, YouTube page, as far as I can see. Friendship deep inside, hundred years ago, one hundred. 100 years ago, a satellite detected an object. An ancient... 100 years ago, a satellite detected an object. An ancient starship. Deep inside the ruin was a single stone that would change the course of our history forever. On the stone was etched a galactic map and a single word more ancient than the clans themselves. Higara, our home. A massive colony ship was designed. Construction would take 60 years. The promise of the guide stone united the entire population. Every effort on the construction of the ship that would seek it out among the stars. It's Christmas now! Vegas says. Homeworld. <clears throat> what do they feel next? Sit here. Here it is. There it is. It's funny they don't have it on their YouTube. Cool. Welcome to the fleet. Confirmed. Look at the way it does that. That's crazy. Yeah, the, the ship drops the ball down. That is neat. This one looks pretty fun, too. Look at the lights and stuff. That's cool. Blowing up asteroids. You blow up asteroids, Pop Red. That looks cool. Cool. Hey, look who we just got popping in. An evil genius entertainment team, McCluskey. 
Hey, what's up, Evil Genius? What's up, Jason? Nice Hero. Uh, Thanks for watching. Be... Oh, he's got a great channel. Love his channel. What's his little shack called? The little shack in the backyard. Is it called the Game Shack? The Game Shack? He has a name for it. But anyways, that was a gearbox pack. It has Homeland, Homeworld, Borderlands, and what was the third one? Uh, Bands of Brothers. Hmm. So. I think he calls it the Game Shack, Team McCloskey. He's right here. We could ask him. The Game Shack! I was right! The Game yes. Shack, baby! Yes, I got evil genius points. I had it right. It was the Game Shack. I got points, too. I brought it up. I know. Good job, Team McCluskey. He shows it like a little shack out there. Throw a little. And then you go inside. It's huge. It is. It is. The game shack. You got the link for the Evil Genius Entertainment Channel. In the chat. Oh. Well, Darren, subscribe. Hook the brother up. Yeah, it's funny that some of these people, they just don't show over here. Okay. Duke Nukem. What do you think of the Duke Nukem? The pin oh, I like it. It's fun. I love, I the love pinball the M. Yeah, I love uh, the. Sound I love the little mode where you get to like shoot at them and stuff. It's pretty cool. The sounds they got, they got, they got Duke Nukem himself doing all the callouts. I think it's pretty good. You get the little mini game. You got the mini games. Yeah, what's well, not to like? I like the Duke Nukem table. I think it's really good. That's pretty good. I like it. Come get some. Yeah, I, I, that mini game. I guess they're like in a, like a movie theater. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty fun. Yeah, you see, that's that that's one where you'd want to have your your uh, control the control like the joystick control would be better than using the the flippers and the action button because yeah. of where it's located at is a pain. Mm -hmm. Oh, can you imagine you use the bell use the joystick and the button? Yeah, if you could if you could if you could map like if they get it to that game's pinball, if they can you imagine if they could map the joystick to actually operate the game when you go to the mini game in the Duke Nukem? That'd be use amazing. It, even use like the A button? That would be a good opportunity to do something good. Do something different. Unique, yeah. Yeah, unique. That'd be pretty cool. Because you'd you'd be able to do that on the at games pinball, you know? Yep. Something you couldn't do anywhere else. Mm -hmm. That's what's cool. It would be cool about that if they did something like that because it would be unique to add games. People like that. Yeah, yeah. I haven't done a video on how to get the back glass working on uh, pinball effects. I'm still learning myself. I mean, basically, you just have to drop the images in the right spot, and they all work. Yep. It's interesting to me that they don't just include the back glass images as part of like the the basic program though. You know, you have to go find them and do it yourself. I know. I wonder why they do that. Why they're not just like why they don't just have them where they're, you know, they just when you get a table that just installs the back glass on that folder. But you have to manually do it. I don't know why they do that. It is very kind of weird. It's very, very weird. I agree, Evil Genius Entertainment. Like when, because when I got it all set up, I had I didn't have I had everything but the back glass working. It's like why doesn't the back glass work? And then I, then I read about it. And you have to find the images and you drop them into a certain file location, and then they all work. And they're all just named like table, table ten, table. They're all named after whatever number table it is. Yeah. Yeah. That's one advantage of just buying pre-done tables. Everything's set up for you. You know, it's easy mode. It's definitely easy mode. Easy mode. 
Yeah, when you buy like the 4K P tables, everything's set up for you. You don't have to worry oh, about yeah. putting in back glass art image where it goes or. But you don't have all the options though, too. You know, you can't change your view. Like in the in the, if you're using OTG, you know, you can change your view to one one of a bunch of different views. Um, gives you a little more customization. But. True. Yeah. So we got next team McCluskey. Hmm? What do we got next? Oops. Hold on, hold on. I can see you're looking for something. Uh Damn commercials. I want to bring up uh, Charlie Brown Christmas. Oh, okay. Finally found a damn video for it. Some of these Zen videos are not easy to find. Oh, I'm a pain in the ass bump, Brad. All right. So here okay. it is. Here we go. Charlie Brown Christmas. I guess that's it. That's all you get, yeah. sucker. There you go. Well, that, that was a lot of work for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel I feel bad for you. you. Did all that work? That's all you got. The funny thing is, guess what I did today? What's I was that? cleaning up. When I was cleaning mm -hmm. up my computer. I you deleted had all your videos. All yep. those videos that you had, I know. You all told those me. Zen, now all you those can't zen. find anything. Yep, all those Zen. Uh, uh, all those Zen videos that, that we're probably gonna have to find again now. And it's, it, that Charlie Brown one's hard to find, it's just like that. It's hard to one. find. I know, and you had them all. You probably had them all on your computer. And you just I did. I deleted them all today. <laughs> Anyways, those are the ones they promised us. Charlie Brown's Christmas, Gearbox, and then um, mm. South Park. So those are the ones they promised us. So that could be one of the ones they'll release on the 26th. Yeah. Now, will they have the artwork and a new machine for one of those three? Oh, yeah. Good. South Park one would be pretty cool. Artwork for a new machine. I wouldn't really care about Gearbox as an artwork on the machine, but I think South Park could be a cool artwork for a new machine. Yeah. Uh, Charlie Brown Christmas, they already did the Charlie Brown, so I don't see them doing another one of those. Could we see a South Park theme? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. We're definitely getting the table. But will they do the theme? Does it, have, does it have that kind of pull to make a whole, a whole table theme to it? I would have to say probably not. Yeah. At one time, it was, I think it was more popular, you know? Yeah. I just think there's more classic ones that they could do besides that one. But I, yeah. there was just some of the tables <clears throat> they said they were going to be releasing. So mm -hmm. uh, it's one of the possibilities that we'll get on 26th. I don't see it, any of those being the artwork, but you never know. <clears throat> you never know. I wouldn't think they would do a Charlie Brown Christmas since they already did Snoopy. Would be the gearbox or the other one, but I doubt they'd do any of those three. There's just so many other ones they could pull from that would be better. Which one? I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, of all the things that you can have from Zen, think of which one could be next. I mean, Creature, obviously, we'd love to have that one. You know, Indiana Jones would be a great one, but we would have enough pull. I think Star Wars would be a home run. See, that's what I keep going back to. I mean, that to me. If you look at the Zen part. categories, there's Star Wars is an entire category. Marvel's an entire category that has not been touched. See, that's another one. Marvel would be mm -hmm. a great one too. That pulls a lot of strings for a lot of people. You know, Star Wars and Marvel to me like should be one of the next ones, just mm -hmm. because of the pull. 
they have. Mm-hmm. And like you said, they have tons. Zen has tons. Tons of Star Wars Mar- tables, yeah. And Marvel. Yeah, and Marvel. I mean, those are the two biggest ones they have, right? Yeah, those are two giant um, properties they have. Of course, they have Jurassic Park, but they don't have as many tables, T. McCluskey. They, no, don't have the, they don't have the library that they have with uh, Star Wars no. or Marvel. I think Indiana Jones or Back to the Future would pull enough nostalgia heartstrings for a lot of people, too. Um, you know, either of those movie t- those those are super popular movies. I mean, look, look all these packs they have. I mean, for Marvel, mm-hmm. you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, most of them have three tables. This has two. These ones three, 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 four, four, four. It's a lot I mean, of tables. A lot of tables. Mm-hmm. They have like twenty-seven tables. Marvel. Then here's Star Wars. Three, two, three, two, three, four, two. I mean. Tons of tables. Eight, ten, thirteen, seventeen, nineteen. They have look like they have nineteen. Of course, you have all these William classic games. Mm -hmm. Well, Jason's saying they teased the the ten pack Marvel collection already at Ad Games. Yeah, those two they have a old. bunch of original tables too, original Zen tables. We haven't even mentioned those. No, we haven't mentioned those. We yet. never talk about them. Like they have an entire, an entire yeah. library of Zen pinball themed tables too that they came up with themselves. Well, like wait well, like a bit. The, just like the, the gearbox, those are all mm-hmm. Zen originals, right? See, there's another Star Wars. The Star Wars pinball over here. Nineteen tables. Oh, that must be like, must be the collection, of the ones we yeah. saw down here. But th- yeah, these console. two, th- I mean, Star Wars and Marvel just makes more sense than anything else. Uh, tables of both of those, but it could be anything. Yeah, this artwork I'm talking about, or it could be you know. One of the Williams classics, you know. They already did Attack from Mars. We'll see another Williams classic next, or we see something like Back to the Future, Indiana Jones, Star Wars, or Marvel. No, they got some heavy hitters. The, the problem is some of the great pinballs people don't know them, like like uh, Tales of the Arabian Nights. That's a great pinball, but people don't know it. You know, Circus Voltaire. That's an amazing great pinball, but do, do a lot of people know it? No. You know, some of the best pinballs are relatively unknown, unfortunately, that they have. You know, the Theater of Magic, another one. Yeah. Great pinball table, but like the general population, how many people know that pinball table? I would say not that many. I mean, I think they're heavy hitters they still have in this library, or I think Twilight Zone is a big heavy hitter. Yep. I think they've got... um Yeah, it was number one, Jason, Indiana Jones. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, see, I didn't see them tease the tin pack Marvel. Medieval mm-hmm. Madness is a huge yeah. popular see, pinball. Oh, so many, many, many people ask for Medieval yeah, Madness. Yeah, people so that many. play real pinball, um, you know, they'll they'll know about Medieval Madness. Yeah. But some of these some of these best tables in here, people won't, a lot of people, average people, won't just not know about them. You know, Circus Voltaire, Tales of Arabian Nights, Theater of Magic. Um, there's probably other ones. I'm not seeing them. Where are some other big ones in there? They did Attack from Mars. Black Rose is fun. Yep. Championship Pub. Whirlwind would be cool. And they could do the topper with the... Can you imagine if they did the fan? fan? Oh man, that would that would be killer. If they did a whirlwind and then they had a working fan, that would be crazy. Centaur. Oh man, I love Centaur. It's a black and white black and white artwork. All black and white. Yep. 
it's definitely retro too it's got those real retro williams sounds you know, it's real like almost like um that's what they use for robotron and defender creature yep creature monster bash there's just so many i mean toilet yeah, monster bash has the universal monsters Your monster pack Yeah, there's just so many they can pull from. You then you just try to sit back and say, like, okay, which ones they, could they really do that would sell well? Twilight Zone would be one of them. Yeah, I would say the, uh, the pinball, the real pinball tables, I say Twilight Zone has big appeal. Medieval Madness and Creature from the Black Lagoon and Twilight Zone are all pretty heavy hitters. What's up, Steps? What's up? Steps Gaming in the house. Deal or no deal. Had deal or no deal. Just, yeah. Did a stream with her on Friday. We had a, we had a lot of fun. Poo yan. Poo yan, suckers. That's right. That's what they need to do. They need to do a poo yan table. At game. Poo -yan table. need to yeah. make a poo yan table. <laughs> I'll be saying poo yan around here. Poo yan, poo yan. Who got the poo yan? Yeah, Elvira would sell like mad. Yep, but Zen's got to yep. get the, the license. Yep. And I guarantee Zen's have tried. I think they have exclusive. I think the people have exclusive with Stern right now. Yeah. Elvira, that's I think Farside had it for a while. Now I think Stern Stern might have some kind of restrictions. Yep. Yeah, because you know they went down that route before whatever reason they, they can't get it i mean one of these days they can I mean, one of these they, days like, something will change because you know just like everything it, nothing's forever so yeah stern can't keep that license pipe forever i wouldn't think you never know no we'll see though i mean it'd be cool to get one mm -hmm. can they hold it indefinitely yep i would say no nothing's ever especially money talks too so you have it enough money talk. man you could you could pull it from them Yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd be happy to see a Twilight Zone, but Creature from the Black Lagoon, a Star Wars, or Marvel. Yeah, any of those I think would do would do good. You know, South Park, man, it's, it's such a. I mean, I know it's somewhat popular, but man, I don't know if it would pull enough strings like Star Wars, Marvel, Twilight Zone, Creature. Yeah. Indiana Jones. I don't know if it would pull as well as those ones. Back to the Future, I mean. Yeah. Another one that did well on that poll. Jurassic Park. I mean, that's another the problem, one. The problem you run into with Jurassic Park is the people that love the real pinball tables. Like, these aren't the real Jurassic Park pinball tables. You always have that to deal with, you know? I know. We saw it with the Dinosaur Dynasty. It's going to be worse yeah. with, with the Zen pinball table. It's going to be like, these, these aren't the Jurassic Park pinballs I played in in the arcades. Well, it's you just know. like Adam's, Adam's Family with the artwork. That's not yeah. the Adam's Family original artwork. Yeah. I don't know. I it's it almost like Jurassic Park. I mean, as much as I love it, I, I don't know if that's that's not the easiest path. No. I mean, I, I've never played Jurassic Park uh, Zen tables. Have you? Yeah, I've played them all. I mean, how are they? They, they play I mean, well. They're or? fun. They're fun. But like I said, they're they're not the original. <laughs> they're not. They're not the Jurassic Park pinballs that were in arcades. You know, they're they're their own thing. Man, if they did the Jurassic Park, I'd love to see the classic all black with the logo on there. Yeah, that's what I would love to see on there. I just love that look for the. It's plain, but it looks so cool. <clears throat> But yeah, it'll be interesting to see what they do. Reports of the dead creature man would be buying that one. Will they give discounts for people who already have one? Hmm. Don't think so, Pop Rat. Think so. But it might be buying another one. Or it would be cheaper for me just to reskin my Adams family. Hmm. Uh, I just I wish it wouldn't be permanent though. I mean, I wish it was some way you could do it. You could interchange the, the artwork as you please. Tell you what, they sell more uh, artwork that way. 
That games did it for the ALU Mini or Micro or whatever. Mini, Mini, ALU Mini. They did some skins. Not out of the realm of possibilities. They've done it once. Battlestar Galactica pin. Very hard to say no to. And that's coming out next. When's Especially, that coming out? Next month. Then, uh, imagine if they did the topper with a Cylon Raider with the eye that would move left and right. <laughs> you remember that from the old TV show? Yeah. The eye that would move. I love the, yeah. I wish they'd have their sound uh, effects too because I love the sound effects. That's yeah. why we watched that show when we were kids, man. We all like the. They had the robot sound effects. Yep. Had that light going back and forth like Kit. Knight Rider. Who came out with that first? Knight Rider or Battlestar Galactica? I don't, I'm not sure which one came out first. It was almost the same thing going. Yeah. But yeah, you know, the TV classics, they went with the Battlestar Galactica, the new one, though. By your command. There it is. Mm-hmm. Turn on the machine, the eyes move and say by your command. Coin in, detect it in pocket. Oh, it's different. That's different. That's berserk, dude. <laughs> That's berserk. You're thinking of berserk. <laughs> Coin detected in pocket. That's berserk. <laughs> I've been hearing that a lot lately. I don't know why. I don't know why. Probably that cabinet you have. Yeah. I haven't broke that one yet. Oh, that one's that one's still surviving. And none of my none of my new waves are near the edge of the. I bet you moved them off that shelf so they don't fall again. They're on the shelf, but they're like in the middle of it. Mm, yeah, <laughs> can't get broken. Uh, okay, man, that's all I had. Uh, nothing else. Oh, here's that thing. We gotta check on the tournament and see where everyone's ranked. Uh, yeah, forget about that. Here's, here's that the renovation thing. announcement. Okay. Yeah. Does it say which ones you're not getting? Yeah, renovation game packs are dropping April 25th. Heads up, we had to make slight tweaks to our lineup, and the following five games will no longer be included in the renovation HD game packs. Valus 2, two. Valus 3, Cosmic Fantasy, Last Alert, and Exile Wicked Phenomenon. This and other details will be included in the upcoming release. Notes dropping on April 25th. Pre-ordered already. Upon the pack's release, we will send a $10 e-store coupon in your inbox for each renovation HD game pack you pre-ordered at full price as a token of our appreciation for your understanding and support. They're going to give you 10 bucks for every pack. So there's, what, two packs? Yeah. So so those five games will not be included. I knew I had that on there. There you go. So there's still time to get into the fun and pre-order the Renovation HD game packs one and two, now with 16 games in total. So they were, what, 21. So they went from 21 down to 16. So that's the bummer there. So those are the games that you're not going to have now. That's it for there. See how the tournament's going, Pop Brad. Okay, let's check it out. The tournament's in uh, Pinball M. We're playing the thing Pinball. I have not seen this since, since uh, I played the last. I've not seen it for almost two days. Let's see, let's see how it's changed. And I guarantee I'm not in eighth place anymore. Loading up. There it is. Got the gruesome music. Why are you guys send your uh, Berserk and Frenzy back for KC? And they 
original series, Cylons was the name of the reptilian race that created the robots. There it is up there. Chucky's best friend. Chucky's best friend. Friend to the end. That's me up there. Got 31 people in here? Oh, 31. Good. Okay, so we got 31 people in here. 1.2 is the lowest. Cannon up there. We got Mac Bites. And, and we are giving out um, a prize, a random prize to just someone that played. So you, you don't have to be in the top anything to get a possibly get a prize. Yeah, $10. Uh, and the prize to number $10 to a random player and $20, $20. to yep. the number one. Number yep. one. So here it is down here. We'll just go, go through these real quick. There's rain at 29 at 4.2 million. We got checkout girl, 5 million at 28th. Bruno at 27. 26 is Jay. We got Biggie That's Fries two. coming in at Biggie 25. Fries. 8 million at 25. He's got 8 million. Biggie 25th. Fries. Some Chucky Love here. Chazman, 8.1. 24th, Team McCloskey. Team McCloskey. Oh, Team McCloskey. I dropped from eighth. And you, went from, you went from eighth to twenty-third. Damn. Competition is heating up on these leaderboards. He was in eighth place. Now he's in twenty-third place. That competition is heating up. What's up, Biggie Fries? He's in the chat. What's up? What? 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 Biggie, Biggie Fries. Yeah, right Biggie he's Fries in though. the chat, and he's yeah, on the leaderboards Stucker. right there. Team McCloskey is calling you out. Biggie, 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 Biggie fries. fries, you need to take Team McCloskey down. He's gloating. He's gloating. Take him down with his 8,339,000. Biggie thousand. Fries by, what, he's at 8,036. I'm at eight Barely eight, beat him, man. Biggie Fries is going to, he's going to start, he's going to gun you down. That's now you're in, a, you're in his sights now. We need to get Fine. Evil Genius on here. We need to get Evil Genius to come play in our tournament. SXPE. He he's, he's a good... He, I'm sure he's a good player. Uh, oh, and you can play. It's cross-platform, too. You can play on the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox. Steam. Steam. Epic everything, Games. Every, yeah, Epic Games. Anything, Everything except for the Switch you can play in this tournament. Yeah. It's cross play on everything but switch. Yep. I'm 23rd and Thrasher is 22nd with 9.5. Oh, I got my work cut out of me, man. T Punk. T Punk's is T -Punk. 21st, 99, nine, almost 10 million. Mm -hmm. 20 is Pierre at 10.9. Goofy, oh, it's Goofy Foot. Goofy Foot in the tournament. 19. Number 19. Good job, Goofy Foot. The Dude million. Man. Dude, dude Man, man. too. 12 million. 12 million. There's high scores of tap. 12.5. High scores on the tap. High scores on the tap. Oh, there's Papa Brad. Papa Brad playing in cabinet mode. So this is on that games? That, that, that's on the act games, yeah. They don't have the game on there. 12.9. High score almost got gotcha. you. Me and high scores are neck and neck on that. Oh, you score. You, uh, you got the dog on there. I played on my PlayStation 4, too. Dan Z, 13.3. Dan Z. Mm -hmm. Jay, Jay Play plays. 13.6. Oh, dude. Dan Z almost got him. Mm -hmm. We got oh. My Family. My Family. Randy, My Randy Family. Iron. He's 13th. 13th place. 13th mm -hmm. place. Just Tactics. Just a or Citizen no, 4. Citizen, yeah. 15.7. Real creamer. 16. Not the fake creamer. This is the real stuff here. The real we one. Got the real creamer here. 16.4. MF Doom. 79 with a 10. With Top 10. 10 now. Got Mad, Mad Dog, Dog at 9. Who's at number 8, Team McCloskey? Are you playing? You're, you're that would be Papa hey, Brad's multiple, Gaming. Multiple places over here you're playing. Yeah, that's playing on the PlayStation three. 4 because you see the joystick. Oh, yeah. yeah. You're in eighth with 20.3. Mm -hmm. And Dave LB, 
23.7 at seventh. Mm -hmm. Dan Holcroft, 26.9. Damn. Big jump. Sixth. Big jump. Big jump. Another big jump. Dusk Moore, fifth, 32.2. Carl O. Killing it. Killing it, son. Killing, killing it. it. Carl O. is killing it. 30, killing 35. it. Ah, oh, man. Nucky almost beat. Number three. Gregory and number three. Look at Carlo and Gregory. They're they're man. they're neck and neck. Who who beat who here? Looking looking like a tight competition there. And you got Nick's at second, five fifty two point seven. Nick's from the Friday Night Arcade show at number two. And it wasn't good enough to beat number one. G Gabor. Something zero, zero six, six zero, zero four. Zero number four. one. Fifty seven point five million. Damn. Mm -hmm. number, it seems like number one always is like killing it compared to everybody else. Yeah. Well, he's a level 19, though. He, remember the last time we had a level 66? Yeah, Gregory's level 31. The higher your level, the more you've played. There's a 47. That's They've played a ton of pinball. To get those levels like that, we're talking like a lot. Oh, there he is. There's a 67. <laughs> yeah. That's one. That's this that's the one. That's, that's the one we got to be careful of. He's, he's he's played some pinball. Yeah, that's the one that was in our last tournament too. Was yeah sixty six. Now he's jumped up to sixty seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so. that's some people in there. There's another thirty nine. Uh, another thirty nine. Twenty four. Fifty. Uh, so yeah, we got some people have been playing uh, pinball M for a while. Yeah, a lot of it. So. 31. Awesome, man. I don't think we might not hit 31. 50 on this tournament. We had 50 on the other one, but this I think Pinball M is a smaller, less people have it than having Pinball FX. What do you think? Oh, yeah, because it's, it's new. It just came it's out. It's new. It's a little bit more niche because they have all the horror titles in there. I think Pinball FX, you have more players. But it's good for our first Pinball M tournament. Yep. Yeah, because it just came out, what, last year? Pinball it's pretty new still, year, yeah. You don't have all the players like you do on FX or FX3. Um, well, we're here. Well, we got people in here. The tournament goes on all the way till what, Thursday? Wednesday at midnight. Wednesday. So Wednesday. till Wednesday. It's say Saturday, so you still got Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You still got four days. Like do, you I have said, a, do you have a little picture with the room code and everything? Oh, yeah. Throw that up just for a second. So we're going to show you the room code and the information. Or did you delete that too? You probably deleted that when you're clearing out. So it's like, I don't need this. No, did I didn't. You, that, did you delete the, did you delete the, uh, the, the code for this week's tournament? SX there it is. Right yeah. there. There it is. Oh, there right. It is right there. Look at that zooming. Zooming like a pro. SXPE. SX -E. SXPE. Come join us. PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series, S Series, Steam, and Epic Carl. Games. You got you gotta, you gotta empty the trash can, man. I won't. I need to get rid of some uh, stuff, man. My, my hard drive was almost full. Yeah. That's the thing. Like, when you're constantly making videos for YouTube, that tell takes up storage space. You can always read that after your video is up. You can always re-download it too. You know. Well, that's why I thought with all this Zen on stuff, YouTube. man. It's like it's all yeah. on YouTube. It's like I can download it anytime I want. But then yeah. the damn Charlie Brown Christmas. And then they the took it down. Miles. Then you didn't have it anymore, Team McCloskey. You yeah. wish you had that clip. You wish you had that clip. Yeah. But man, I got that's rid the of hard part. Bunch. I mean, mm -hmm. I want. Let's see how much storage do I have now. I mean, I got. I had a, bu a bunch of clips I didn't need to have. <laughs> I mean, Evil I Genius think, says he he ruthlessly erases a show as soon as it's done. Twenty two gigabytes I gained by deleting all that stuff today. Twenty two gigs, man. Yep, it was a lot, man. It's like all these little trailers and clips and stuff. That's I think that's uh, that's enough space to put pinball effects, huh? That's a lot yeah, of storage probably. space. Yeah. That's how much to gain from deleting all that shit, man. I had tons of that. It was all those, was, you know, Zen clips and other clips you know, did over um, all these streams. Mm 
So it, we, since we have everybody in here, we got 33 people in here, but um, we thought about doing aliens pinball for next week mm. on FX3. You want to do like an aliens uh, for F FX3? It would be our first FX3 table we did. Okay. There's like a new aliens coming out, um, remastered or something coming out. Unfortunately, one of the things I deleted, but her old did send me the link to that. I don't remember what it was, though. But it's based off the movie, Aliens. Okay. Carl, you can send me that link again. So there's some kind of remaster coming out for the Aliens movie. can't remember. What do you think about doing Aliens, though, for FX3? I, lo I love it. I love the Alien franchise. I don't want to do Aliens vs. Predator, but they do have, like, the, from the original um, movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is remastered. I was right. Uh, yes, Aliens Remasters came out, and they are coming out with a fan movie. You can get your name in the credits. That's right. That's what it is. Okay. The Alien Zen table is good, according to Evil Genius Entertainment. Might be the best pin based on a franchise. So we have, we have he's saying Aliens is good. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Aliens. Yeah, well, let's do it, man. Let's FX3. It. Ready to play some FX3. That runs. That even runs better on my cabinet than Pinball FX. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You might my get cabinet score will probably go up <laughs> if I'm playing Pinball FX three because my computer. That's what. I, that, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Greatest. Yeah, I would love to do FX three. Yeah, and here it is. Here, Aliens expanded. Welcome to the new species of documentary. James James Cameron. Born to make this movie. The actual Girl, I, that's cool. That's expanded. Aliens expanded. A new species of documentary. Oh, watch the trailer. Want to watch the trailer? I don't know if we'll get a copyright. Uh, probably. Alan Dean Foster. He wrote Splinter of the Mind's Eye. I read that when I was a kid. It's a Star Wars story. There you go. I don't see Sigourney Weaver's name in there. You're not part of it. Carrie Hen, Newt, in there. Join the alien cast and crew, including James Cameron, Michael, Ben Hicks, Bishop, Drake, and his pause, Mormon, Newt, a deep dive into this science fiction classic. Yeah, yeah it's expanded. Wow. So here, it's. A, it's it's almost like set up like um and how much money you... about an alien huh look at that that's cool look at all the extra stuff you get that's incredible and then you get choose your edition you get the digital only 49 bucks it's, it's, you know, alien all that look at all that look at all that extra stuff you get and for 49 bucks looks at your name in the credits for 50 bucks you get your name in, in the credits your name in the credits 99 bucks Plus shipping, you get all that. Two posters, so on patch, a booklet, certificate, your name in the credits, of course. And then you go 140 bucks, you get a t-shirt and Blu-ray package. Wow. It's almost like set up like Kickstarter. <laughs> and if you want to be an associate producer, 2500 bucks, Papa Brad. 2500 bucks. 2500 bucks. Yeah, associate producer. Associate producer credits in the movie credits. Associate producer credit on IMDb. Look at all that stuff you get, man. Remember, you got a booklet as well, awards, T-shirt, Blu-ray, and then you go big gun. You can become a producer. Five thousand bucks. You can become a producer. Bam. Big money. You got a bunch of stuff. Ten thousand dollars. You can be executive producer. Executive producer. Nice. You don't even have to do nothing. I bet. Wow. Said, yep, I'm a producer. I'm like, I produced a movie, suckers. I produced a movie. <laughs> wow. Get a certificate, too. Look at that. Official certificate. With gold foil border. So it's kind of cool, though. I mean, you could pick your vision, basically. So as low as $50, though, you can actually get the 
Name in the credits. That's pretty cool. Name in the credits and soundtrack, and then Alien Expanded, of course. Coming out in June of 2024. Coming out in a couple months. Huh. Well, there you go, Pop Brad. And then we could do, uh, see. do the aliens here. Let's see. Find it here. It is not on sale. I did look earlier. At least on Steam, it's not on sale. They never come up, man. Like in order. All the glory. I think it's called Alien versus Pinball. So we'll do Aliens next, huh? That's going to be cool. Then yeah, with that Alien Expanded coming out, that would be kind of cool to do. Our oh, that's idea. a great line, yeah. She had a line in the movie that when the dude said, are you ever mistaken for a man? And she said, are you? That was pretty oh. funny. That was a burn. She, was that Vasquez, huh? The character Vasquez? Yeah, it was, yeah. Yeah. I love the way they had those machine guns that were like on those things they use for cameras. They were like, you know, that they used those, uh, they those, those uh, gigantic guns. Then they had those special things that made it where you could balance them. Yeah. That was really cool. That movie's great. Aliens holds up. I mean, it's as good today as it was when it came out. It just holds up. Yeah. It was so ahead of its time, you know? Steady cam rigs. Yeah. Evil Genius knew what they were called. Yeah. Very cool stuff. So it's uh, Pinball FX3, Aliens vs. Pinball. It's nine ninety nine. I think you get three tables you get? Or two. No, you... Three. Oh. There's three. Yeah, we want to play the one with Ripley. Yeah, that's the one I want to play. With the alien queen in the back. That looks amazing. Got the radar there in the middle. There's the alien versus the predator. And there's the third one. That's Alien Isolation, huh? That was a video game. Yeah, that was a video game, wasn't it? Is that what it seemed to? Is that what it seemed to? Alien Isolation? Yeah, Isolation. Something is lurking in those shadows, Ripley. Be careful. Not welcome, Kennedy. You might be in trouble. This. H.R. Geiger was just a, just a genius with the design. Of the such a cool creature. Yeah. I love FX3, Carl O. To me, it, at least with my equipment, it plays better. Oh, okay? I mean, it's the only one they showed on that one. All right. That is not the one we're going to be playing. That's only two videos they have up in there. We're just going to play the... We'll be playing this one here. That's the one we're playing, yeah. Yeah. Aliens. And they have a good shot. That's kind of a good shot there. It yeah, that's pretty like cool. Had the big old alien queen in the back here. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. So that's, that's this is what we'll be, we'll be playing. They got like the radar with the sounds, you know? Yeah, it's uh, down here. So I can't wait. Cool. That's going to be fun. I've never played this one yet, so be fun. It's nine ninety nine on Steam. I don't know. Jason if it's said he got to interview Sigourney Weaver for a college radio station around nineteen ninety two. Really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Even even Genius said that's cool. That's cool. One of my favorites was Stan Lee. 
Oh, very cool. <clears throat> so, yep, yeah, there's, there's a good shot of it. You saw you get three uh, tables on it, but we're going to be playing this one here. There's another shot of the table there. That's yeah, cool that it has radar down there by the flippers. You hear the sound effects and all that. Yeah, it's, it's, it looks looks great. I can't wait to play that. It's going to be fun. Yeah, so this will be our next one starts um, next Thursday. Third. Go for a week. So next Thursday, we're going to Aliens. Going to Aliens. We're going out of space, Pop Brad. We're going out all of space. Right. In space, no one can hear you scream, Steve McCluskey. That's right. April 18th, we'll be going to outer space. I can't wait. Flight. It's going to be fun. The aliens. It's going to be interesting. I, like I said, I never played this one. Never played a demo or anything on it, so I'm kind of excited to uh, see what it's about, man. Board Evil, stuff evil Genius knows what's up. He knows. He knows the good stuff. Oh. Uh, Cody well, and the Barbarian. Your long, favorite, long, your favorite Team McCluskey. As long as Arnold Schwarzenegger's on in there. He can't even say Dude, neighbors. I love Cody and the Barbarian. It's yeah, a perfect neighbor. movie. It's the, it's the perfect movie. It's the perfect movie. He's on State Farm. It's the perfect role for him. It's perfect Neighbor. in every way. Cody and the Barbarian. He came in. He, he, he reads his lines, everybody. He reads his lines. Conan's ah. not about lines. Damn. He'll Cole. crush. He'll crush your lines, T. McCluskey. No, he, it's your crush. You and your puny your lines. Lines. Neighbor. Can you say neighbor? Crom, <laughs> Crom. <laughs> Sounds like he's this. Uh, I'm cave man. Oh, oh, oh. I should he say that? He did you say, know oh, uh, the movie said, Conan the Barbarian? Oh. The first cut of the first cut of it got an X rating. They tried to release the first cut of Conan and the Barbarian got an X. It didn't even get an R. It got an yeah. X. So they had to tame it down some. That's funny. Yeah. All I'm saying is you just you could tell he was reading his lines. That's mm -hmm. all I say. I love I love the Conan movies, but hey. Nobody I... ever uh, fights me against that either. So Conan's not about reading lines, it's about crushing enemies. I know, but you gotta be able to speak, man. And that he does he spoke good enough. He's a barbarian. He didn't speak good enough at all, it's man. Perfect role for for him for Arnold. It needed it's a more perfect role combination of actor to role. You needed more, uh, uh, because he couldn't, you know, everything else sounded like he was reading a book. I am. Cole. Hey, hey, all I gotta am. say, J Jason Momoa tried to play Conan. How did that go? I he didn't. Wasn't, he didn't pull I didn't it off. Like he he didn't pull it off as good. I didn't sound like he was reading his lines. Who uh -huh. had the guy <laughs> that played the Hulk? Um, he probably would. Ferrigno? Yeah, he would probably be better because at least he could actually talk like he wasn't like reading mm -hmm. the lines. Mm -hmm. And at the time, he was probably just as big or pretty close to being as big as Arnold was. It's so funny, though, to see Arnold now, how small he is. He yeah. looks like a regular human being now, Pop Brad. He does, he's not all uh, buff anymore. That's a lot of work to be a bodybuilder. Oh, dude. That's like a full-time job, man, to get that I kind mean, of physique like that. I used to work out. Like twice a day back when I was in college, man. Man, it just it's hard. I don't know how those guys can do it. I mean, I know a lot yeah. of them. Like he did, he, you know, that's why they use steroids because it's so hard to maintain mm -hmm. that without steroids. Some of those guys work out like you know three, four times a day. That's why it's just so much easier to do steroids. It's so much easier. I don't blame mm -hmm. them. Now those dudes though, they inject themselves with stuff. Do you see that? It's like some of these people that are big now, they inject some kind of gel into their muscles and that. And, it, and I guess if it explodes, it ends up like, can kill you. Oh my goodness. That's terrible. Oh yeah. And then sometimes it like turns into like almost like concrete. It's just, Ugh. it's just, if you look up any of that stuff, man, it's like, they even did a, a show or a movie where like somebody was, I forget what show it was. Like it was this kid, Who's becoming in the like, I don't know boxing or wrestling, and his dad was like all big and all this, and like uh -huh. he was showing off his arms and stuff, and somebody s scraped his arm, and it was like uh -huh. stuff was like spilling out of his arm. Oh my gosh! I don't remember what TV show that was. I think it was a show. Oh my like, goodness! It was that stuff he was injecting in his arm to make him look big. It was right Goofy all foot out. saying it's oil. Is it oil they're putting in oil? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not sure what it is, but sometimes it hardens like concrete. It's just, it's like, dude, go work out, man. Don't, don't, <laughs> don't take the easy way out and just shoot that shit in your arms. It's just crazy. All right, Pubber, do you have anything else? That's it, man. Let's wrap it up. I don't have nothing else. That's it. Play in the tournament. We'll see you. We'll see you on the leaderboards. Get in there, Evil Genius. Evil Genius, come join our tournament. We'd love to have you uh, play with it, play in the tournament with us. Um, if if not this one, next one will be Aliens. Yep. Aliens uh, start on on the eighteenth. Eighteenth. Hope everybody has a great Sunday since it's probably Sunday for most of us in here now. Yep. Even for Papa Brad. Biggie Fries is in 11th place. Now he's moving on up. Moving hey, on moving up. moving on up already. He's moving I'm on uh, up. still in the same place I was with Peter my 8 Frosty. million. He's moving up. I'm not moving anywhere. I'm staying put. My 8 million down there in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Where was that? 23rd, I think. I was way down there, man. 23rd out of 31. Woo! Papa Brad was way up there. I'll try to get in there, man, and get a better score in there. I'll try. I think the I fries are coming for you. Uh oh, zero. Cool. Talking smack in ears. Oh, we got some smack talk going on. The like buttons, guys. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with us, man. And uh, congrats to Brooklyn for winning uh, Gregory's giveaway there with the the thing. Mm -hmm. Hope you all have a great uh, beginning of your week. And don't forget, too, um, April 16th, Pinball Net. Pinball Start Net's coming. Net games. And then, that's uh, right. Yeah, that's, what, Tuesday? Mm -hmm. Tuesday. So look out for that. It will be interesting to see what happens to their servers. <laughs> yep. It'd be interesting. I hope they can, the, I mean, uh, all I got to say, they're going to get so overloaded with people trying to download 140 pinball tables. It's going to, it'll be interesting. I if just don't know how it's going to work. <laughs> I don't know how it's going to work either. I mean, I mean, you we'll gotta, see. We'll find out. Just think all these people, you know, people got the Adams family, the Snoopy, Tech from Mars, and Star Trek. They, they, so they many people get have free their, pinball net. All of them. And some yeah, of us, right. like Papa Brad, we bought Pinball Net as well. So we'll yeah, I see. did too. I, I bought, bought it for it. a year. I bought, I bought it for a year. Two. Yeah, it was just a year. Yeah, that's why I bought it. But um, you get the first three months free, and then it's all uh, good. In, um, year tax on after that, so you really get a year and three months mm -hmm. on that. If you're in the United States, if you're out of the United States, I think you just get two months free. But, all right, guys, thanks for hanging out with us tonight, man. You guys are all awesome. Hope you have a great rest of your sunday hopefully see you guys on thursday start of our new tournament aliens on fx3 we'll get that downloaded and uh as always stay legit good night everybody McCluskey presents Arcade Talk Live Stream.
Atari is always in control. He's a master of retro man, the old school style's his thing. With every flick of the joystick, you can hear the twang team. Stay legit, pop a bread, keep the high school living. From the classic arcades to the Atkins pinball board. With the Atari 2600, your love for games will never quit. Stay true yourself, pop a brand, and always stay legit. He's a lover of the classics, the sound of pixelated beats. Late nights at the arcade with every game defeat. But he'll keep on pushing. Till he's reached that final stage Papa Brad's the game in legend His passion never fades Baby legit Papa Brad Keep the high school open From the classic arcades To the at games pinball board With the SRE 2600 your love for games will never quit. Stay true to yourself, Papa Brad. Always stay legit. 